Oh my god, it feels like every time I take a day off of streaming, the online left just falls apart. Some massive drama happens, something huge comes out, a huge debate happens. I, I don't know. I don't know why it's always when I take one day off streaming. I took one fucking day off streaming, and all this shit happens. So let's go ahead and find out what it is. I assume all of you are aware of uh, Prime K's. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I've, been, I've heard it pronounced Prime Kai's. I, I believe it's pronounced Prime K's. Um, we, we all know who that is, I hope, right? We do? We know who Prime K's is? Do we? Any, any, uh, any truers? Any, any knowers? Any knowers in chat? Uh, for those that don't know, Prime K's is a uh, streamer on Twitch, and he is known for hosting... A, um, a little bit less of an organized um, panel debate thing than what Dylan does. It's it's Kai's, like eyeballs. Oh, it's it's actually Prime Kai's. Okay, all right. Um, well, Prime Kai's uh, runs a panel show, kind of like Dylan Burns' uh, panel show, only it's uh, every day of the week. It's five days a week, I believe, and um, it is not quite as organized as Dylan's, from my understanding, I haven't gone to show yet, or at least I haven't uh, gone on the show as far as I'm aware. Not, not as far as I can remember. I think it might have gone there like once a long time ago. Um, but uh, yeah, basically, he does a panel show, and a lot of panel show people on Twitch usually have somebody that they like a booker that they have that goes out and contacts different streamers and different content creators and asks them, do they want to come on the show for that night or that week or whatever? I get a lot of messages. I get a lot of messages uh, from like debate panel show bookers asking if I can go on this debate panel or this debate panel. And previously I turned them down basically every time because I was like, no, I don't, I, I like to stream when I feel like streaming. I don't want to have to like schedule something and be like, all right, no matter what I feel like doing and no matter what happens, I have to start my stream at this particular time. And I usually fucking hate that. I despise that. So usually I would, I would turn it down. I'd be polite about it. But as you all know, recently I have been doing a bit of a panel show art because I want to practice debating and I've been going on a lot of panel shows. But I have yet to go on Prime Kai's, um, which means I have literally no bias in this situation whatsoever. I barely know anyone involved besides Dylan, and I have no pre... Like, I just don't have any bias going into this. I've just heard about the drama. I've heard what's going on. Uh, it sounds pretty fucked. I, I don't know all that much about it at the moment, I've heard a bit from Lonnie, and I watched a little bit of the of the Destiny and Dylan Burns debate, but for the most part, my plan here is just to go over the Twitlongers, go over the DMs, watch the clips from uh, Prime K's stream and a little bit of the Destiny-Dylan debate, and for us to watch this and see what my opinion is coming out of it. Mostly, this video, this segment, when it goes up on YouTube, as well as the live stream now, is mostly going to be to just get the news out, like to just inform the people who are watching that maybe don't know much about it and have just kind of heard about it. I'm going to try to go over as much evidence as time will allow me to, and um, maybe at the end we'll have seen enough that I can make a pretty decent take on it, right? A fairly well-informed take on it. Who knows what it'll be? Maybe it'll get me canceled? I don't fucking know. Uh, so let's start. I'm going to start by giving a little background from what I know so far. You know how I mentioned earlier that a lot of uh, panel show hosts will have a booker that reaches out to content creators to get them on? Well, Prime Kai's old booker was someone named Katanara, who is now both the girlfriend and booker, I believe. I mean, at least she contacts me whenever she wants, whenever Dylan wants me on his show. Um, the Both the girlfriend and current booker of Dylan Burns. And just yesterday, Dylan and her came out with accusations and twitlongers with screenshots claiming that Prime K's back before and during um, the time when this this lady Katanara uh, was acting as his booker were that Prime K's was sexually harassing her or Prime K's was sexually harassing her girlfriend. I thought Dylan was gay. I thought so too, but you know, sexuality is 
Sexuality is a weird thing, isn't it? I, I don't... I, listen, I, I'm guessing Dylan's just pan or something. I don't know. It's fucking... It's... BreadTube. I'm the only... I'm, I'm the only straight fucking dude on BreadTube, okay? I literally... I cannot... I cannot name off the top of my head any straight white cis dudes on BreadTube besides me, okay? Maybe, like, one or two. I think, like, maybe... I mean, I think Shark is straight and, and cis, but he's not white. Uh, Chud Logic, maybe? The Chud Logic could be... Pa I don't fucking know. I, I Listen, I'm a minority in BreadTube, okay? I am. I am truly a, a marginalized person here uh, in BreadTube. So Katanara and uh, Katarina, I cannot pronounce her name, I'm sorry, and um, Dylan Burns came out with uh, posts putting out these accusations. Now let's go ahead and take a look. Actual Jake? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Um, the first one that I saw was this. Prime Kai's sexually harassed his staff for months and then a twit longer. And then Katarina put out a twit longer as well. And Dylan's links to Katarina's twit longer. So we're just going to read this one. And we're going to take a look at the thread that, um, that Dylan made. So let's start by reading the twit longer. Okay. Katarina. That's how it's pronounced. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm terrible at names. Katarina. Okay. All right. Katarina. Prime Kai's. There we go. I'm great with names. <sighs> As per the title, I no longer work from Prime Kai's. I've had an issue with the way my boss has treated me for a while, as per my general inability to process things of this nature. I usually wouldn't uh, know how to deal with a situation like this. For a while, I felt like I just needed to suck it up. I've been- okay, I want to make- okay, already? It's Ra, not Rain? Katarana. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm gonna make this, like- I lied a little bit about not knowing what's going on. I've seen a little bit of what's going on, and I've talked to some people- about what's going on, um, notably Lonnie, because Lonnie knows a lot more about what's going on here than, than, um, than I do. But from what I know so far, there is a lesson to be learned from this drama for men and women, for everybody, really, no matter what your gender identity is. But this mostly applies to men and women, all right? When you're in a situation... <sighs> okay. Here's my, it's not a hot take, okay? I promise this isn't a hot take. It's going to sound like a hot take at first, but it's not a hot take, I promise. It's a very reasonable take, okay? I'm going to be very fucking honest with you here. Let me full screen camera for a second. I'm going to be, this is very important. I'm going to be very honest with you. Even Luna's perked up and listening, okay? Men, I should clarify straight men, tend to be pretty fucking stupid. And what I mean by that is, if you're a guy and you like a girl, you will very, like, finding out or believing that a girl doesn't like you as a guy follows very similar, like, a very similar um, process to, like, the stages of grief. Because it's like, it sucks when, like, you, you, you're a guy and a girl doesn't like you or she's not interested in you. Uh, thanks for shaking my camera, Luna. Um... And, and, you know, it turns out she doesn't feel the same. It, it, you know, you can kind of feel like shit about it, and you kind of go through the stages of grief. Like, at first it's denial and acceptance, anger, whatever. What, it happens, right? So there's a tendency for dudes to view any interest from a girl they like, like a, like a willingness, even walking up and having a conversation with you, guys will find some way subconsciously in their minds to view that as evidence that this person is sexually interested in them this isn't i know natalie marie you know i know it's not an excuse for bad behavior let me let me go on i said it was at first gonna sound like a hot take let me finish please please offer me the uh the the charitability of letting me finish my take here okay I, this is i've noticed this consistently through every sexual harassment drama that has happened for as long as i've been doing youtube okay dudes are fucking stupid with this all right they will view any engagement with you with you um or with them as interest from a girl that they like it happens all the fucking time so if you're in a situation I, you're really cute luna but please just chill for a second if you're in a situation where a guy 
where you have like a girl who's making sexual advances or a guy making sexual advances on a girl and the girl isn't interested. And she just says like in a not very assertive way, like, nah, I'm not really interested, but then continues to like, for example, try to be friends and like calls the, the guy sometimes, like messages the guy first sometimes. Anything from like messaging first to calling to just engaging in any conversation, dudes will find some way to like rationalize that in their head as evidence that actually she does like me. Maybe she changed her mind and she is into me. Maybe she just doesn't know she's into me. There's all sorts of ways that guys will try to like rationalize that in their mind as actually she's interested in me. It's like hardcore copium. Now, this obviously is an excuse for any bad behavior, but I think there's a lesson when it comes to online interactions especially that can be learned from this, okay? If you're in a position where somebody likes you and it's very clear they like you, they're making sexual advances on you and you are not interested in them, you don't want these sexual um, uh, uh, interactions happening, um, you got to be assertive, all right? This isn't victim blaming. Be assertive. Say, I am not interested in you. After that point, if you are, if you are like, just, I haven't seen these DMs yet, so it's possible that happens. If you are just straight up and you say, I am not interested in you, stop hitting on me. From that point on, any further sexual advances that the guy makes outside of like some crazy extraneous circumstances where then suddenly the girl just says, hey, um, here are my nudes. Could you rate them for me? Obviously, that might send mixed signals, but for the most part, I'd say that's clear enough that, like, you can't make the argument that there's mixed signals going on and, and that the the exclamation that she's not interested is is not clear enough. Like, if you just outright say, I am not interested, stop um, uh, uh, messaging me, like, that from there on out, any further engagement from the other person sexually is sexual harassment, okay? Like, it has been clearly stated that consent is not there to engage in any sexual discussion. It's got to end there. And here's what men need to learn. Men, my duders out there, if you think a girl might be interested in you, but you don't know 100%, never escalate things beyond what they're willing to escalate it to, all right? Just never do that. Listen, I get it. I've had situations where I'd be talking to a girl that I know that I'm friends with, like in like texting them or something, and then they'll say something that's like flirty, and because I'm not 100% sure if they're being flirty or not, I'll just respond with like the most innocent shit in the world, and then I'll read over it again like the next day in hindsight and be like, wow, this was blatant flirting. This was just blatant, blatant, blatant flirting. And, and you know, you kick yourself for that, because it's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Then I eventually learned when my girlfriend, my now girlfriend messaged me, and it seemed like she was flirting, I literally just asked her, are you flirting with me? And she said, maybe. That means yes. And, and, and you know, I asked, and you know what? It turned, all, it turned out good. You know, me and Lonnie are dating. There was no sexual harassment or anything. It was all good. Just fucking don't assume that you should be, be escalating the situation to another level that the other person might not be interested in. This is mostly dudes, by the way. If you aren't 100% sure that they're interested in you, okay? Because at the end of the day, the onus is on you. If you're the one trying to escalate the situation, then... If things go wrong and that person's not interested in in you, then all that blame so lies solely on you because you're the one that escalated that direct and escalated it in that direction. Yeah, it's not that. Yeah, yeah. All right, here let's let's keep reading. I've been involved with the Twitch political sphere for about six months now, with one of my only points of access to the community being through the occasional Hippy Dippy recruitment panel or the more frequent Prime Kai's panel. For the beginning of my introduction to Prime's community, his, inter his interactions with me essentially always with me essentially always been romantic or sexual in nature, but completely one-sided. On my end, it was always it was always was all right. I, I, we're not going to criticize the, the the grammar of a um, of an allegation post, but I I, uh, I would have read over this a few times before posting it. I read over literally every tweet that I put out like three times before I I, I post it. Like I I go over that shit constantly. Zan ableist, I'm going to kill you. 
<clears throat> on my end, it was always an internal struggle to decide whether I got to keep my dignity in the situation and express my discomfort or suck it up and grow as a streamer uh, through him giving me a platform. This so far is very much like I completely understand where she's coming from so far. I assume Kater Katerana uses she, her pronouns. Uh, let me know in chat if, if I'm if I'm on to something there. Let me let me know if that's if that's accurate. Um, yeah, that is a scary situation. Um, that's I think a situation where my advice is a little easier said than done. If you're in a situation where you want to grow as a streamer and putting up that the sexual harassment um, benefits you in another way, and you feel like, well, I mean, I could come forward and be like you know, say, I am not interested in you. Please stop making sexual advances towards me. I could do that and end this, or I could keep putting up with it and keep my job as like a streamer and keep growing as a streamer. Like there is a situation there where there's sort of a, an implication because of the implication, um, that if you kind of say, stop this, then you might, you know, you might suffer for it. This incentive only increased when I sta started to produce for him. And I was paid for my work. Okay, so now we've got her being an employee of Prime Kai's, which escalates that to an even greater degree. I thought this new working relationship would mean he would act more professionally, but it did not deter his inappropriate behavior at all. I tried to come forward earlier, as early as April to be precise, yet when I reached out to other creators in their chat, he found out that I was posting in their chats within 10 minutes of me doing so. I knew that if I tried back then, he had so much more resources and audience than I did, um, than I did, than I did, and thus crushed my channel before I even got the word out. Evidence that I reached out to other creators beforehand. Girly Bear DMs. Okay, let's see this. Did you want NCC, no comment chick, I assume, to cut out that portion of her stream when you were talking in chat? That would be nice, thanks. I noticed it was already it was gone already. I assume that Girly Bear might be like an editor or moderator for no comment chick, maybe? Thanks, I'm just on the phone now trying to look into what to do. Okay, just know most of the women on Twitch will be supportive of you no matter what your reason for speaking out is speaking about it for emotional support or you're just trying to warn other women or if you're pushing legal ends the men will get weird and start uh saying things about proof being needed that is true um but i don't think it's a bad thing like yeah i mean if you're gonna make accusations towards somebody um you're gonna have to have proof like we're talking about pe like people's careers are on the line um like yeah you, you do i understand that it can be daunting like, if you're a woman who's the victim of sexual harassment and you don't know if your your proof is strong enough to come out and you're really scared of what might happen if you come out, it's a very bad... It's a really bad situation for both sides, right? Because either you create an environment that's really hostile towards accusers, which can make abuse continue, but at the same time, if we don't set some precedent for, okay, you can't just say someone did this with no evidence, then... Now you're in a position where anyone could just end anyone's career at any moment, right? Um, I mean, I had false allegations thrown at me. I had evidence to debunk all of it, thankfully. But um, there are still people like Corviday and Thought Slime out there who are have yet to revoke, like revoke what they said about me having a sex cult. You know, they both tried to ruin my career. I managed to save it because I had evidence, but they they still stand by it, as far as I'm aware. Both of them still have me blocked. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a shitty situation on both sides. Have you made an a accusation that Destiny is not non-binary about a week ago, though? No, I didn't. Like, I said that I'd hurt, like, that I'd seen a debate where Destiny said, well, I'm non-binary then, because he was mad about people saying you could be trans without having gender dysphoria, and then people in my chat told me, no, actually, he said recently he, he legitimately is non-binary because he's questioning his gender identity. I said, oh, okay, in that case, yeah, sure. Yeah, he is non-binary. Like, that was literally my video. I bet you watched the first five minutes of that video, you dumb fuck. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that video got a lot of hate because people didn't watch it. They watched like the first five minutes and then stopped. I just want people to stop ta taking advantage of my vulnerabilities. I feel bad that you're going through this. You're fairly new to Twitch. That's awful that this is part of your initial experiences. And with your finals going on at the same time, you have to be under a lot of stress. It... 
Yeah, my stream tomorrow is going to be bundled up, lol. I don't know, honestly. I have autism, so I don't uh, know how to decide if people are good or not. It's a major source of stress for me, so I usually need to ask someone else to vet for me. But during COVID, I have no... Well, it cut off there. Um, I can only imagine how it is being a streamer and interact interacting with all these people, and you would think they would be co-workers, professional, you know? Yeah, I only know how to be in professional settings, so I tend not to yell too much on panels, so having people slide into my DMs and telling me how they are going to F me is really disturbing, is, is what the rest of that says, if, if, you, if you couldn't tell by the tops of the letters and the context of the rest of the sentence. Oh, um... Okay, oh, and hey, have you heard of Kurt? I have. I know about the full situation. I have no idea what the fuck's being talked about here. Okay, good. I'll say that my situation is significantly worse than that from what I know, so I know there will be repercussions for the person. All right, I mean, this seems to be evidence from a while ago that, um, you know, this is an out of nowhere. Uh, Katarana was clearly, like, you know, talking to people about this a while ago and was clearly distressed about it. Iko, I don't know who Iko is, no clue who this person is, but I guess this is a streamer that uh, Katarana reached out to. Hey, hey, I was told to reach out to you, so I've been getting creeped on a lot by someone in the polisphere. Miss you, die, after I kiss you, I'll have nothing to live for, no, yes, bye. We've seen these screenshots on Twitter. Here's a screenshot of a piece, they do this like every day, and they know I live with my boyfriend, but they won't stop. Do you have any advice? In your DMs? Do you know who it is? Yeah. Yeah, she does know who it is. Um, oh, okay, I know who this person is. I think I have them blocked on Twitter. Um, in my DMs, and yeah, it's a large creator. I mean, if it's a large creator, it depends on uh, what you want to do. I mean, this is all too vague for advice. Based on what you sent me, I would just block them unless they keep making new usernames. Just keep all the receipts always. If it's someone I know of, I can dig around. Oh, well, I mean, they're coming forward there. Speaking up in no comment chicks chat. A creator larger than No Comment Chick has been sexually harassing me. I'm so sorry. Is there anyone you can talk to? I'm sorry to hear that. You're going through. You're going through that. I don't feel safe to, like, to speak out. Um, this is a fair amount of like. This is a fair amount of like, preempt here. Like, clearly, this is something that's been going on for a while, and she's like talked to people about it before making this public, which um, definitely lends credence to her side of the story for sure. Um. um like, that's that's a pretty good start on her side of things, that this is something she's been discussing with people. Samantha Banana. Um, hey, uh, hey you, is everything okay? I saw some comments on a stream and just making sure it's not someone in my community. Hey, I'm a bit too scared to say. I'm not big enough to feel safe. No worries. If you are ever ready, I'll hit that yeet button. So I feel like I'll just lose my platform if I talk. I understand. I'll try to get a little bigger, then I'll tell you. Just so you know, I'll always platform your nerd personality and big brain anytime I get the chance. Can I just ask a question for my peace of mind? Sure. I just want to ask about one name, and then it cuts off. Um, uh, I can call you and tell you if I'm scared about it being snapped. Please, for the love of God, tell me it isn't Prime for sure. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh God. Isn't Samantha Banana Nazi adjacent? I don't fucking know who Samantha Banana is. Do I? Do I? I don't know. I I know of only one person so far that's been discussed here. Uh, that that that, that we've gotten screenshots from here, and that was um, no comment chick. That the stuff in no comment chicks chat. I know no comment chick. Um, yeah, yeah. These are these are mostly like smaller streamers that that are being talked to. Um, Samantha Banana works for Lauren Southern now. Wait, really? Holy shit. What can I say? To be fair, to be fair, to be fair. Never mind. Um, just checking in. Uh, you doing okay? Yeah, just stressing at the end of the, of the semester. Been trying not to think about everything too much, and it's chilled out with him knowing I'm busy. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's got to suck having this go on when you're working on, like, hardcore schoolwork. Um, more Samantha Banana messages. This is one month late. Luna, what are you doing? You can't hop in my lap. I'm hot as hell. It's so I'm so sweaty. What are you doing? What are you doing, kitty? What are you doing here? Hello. Hello, little baby. 
I gave her a kiss. The thing that makes this um, all not sit well with me is that during this entire time, for months and months, while saying this to others, not saying it to Prime, she was regularly calling him and staying in the call for two to six hours multiple times a week. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before, Lonnie. I So, I do know a little bit more than I've let on. I do know a little bit more than, I le- than I've let on, let on. But the reason why I'm not giving my take yet is because I want to go through all of the evidence... And then at the end of the segment, give my take. Because God knows I'm not going to start the segment with my take, then go over all the evidence and supporting our arguments, because I know that people who disagree with me will start the segment, see the first five minutes, hear my take, and then dislike, unsubscribe, leave a hate comment, and leave. So we're just reading, we're going through it, complete, we're pretending to be completely blind on this, and then once we've gone through all of the evidence, then I will give my take. I'm not falling for the same trap I've fallen for a million times when I talk about drama and starting the segment with my opinion. Hey, hey, the weird comments haven't stopped. I'm helping out right now because the channel growing helps everyone, but gosh, the stuff that's being said to me is really, really off. Like what? Are you okay? I'm okay, but like I tell my partner every time and they're just on the edge of telling people themselves. While working on questions on Tuesday night, I was asking what he was asking I was asking what's my bra size, and then I had to go to the bathroom, but I kept my headphones on, and he was asking for me to come back to my chair in a way that would show my ass. Just really off shit. They were video chatting. That's weird. Um, I'm sorry, you shouldn't have to put up with this. Wait, he asked your bra size? Weird champ. Yeah, I usually wear baggy clothes, so that time I wore a tighter t-shirt, I need to bend it. Okay, and I guess just a little more like in detail we'll read the next screenshot maybe it continues um oh yeah yeah Yeah, because i usually wear very baggy clothes so the one time i wore a tighter shirt i need to bend over to grab something that fell underneath my chair right away so that uh so what's your cup size and that was i guess the quote oh no just so you're aware i have told i have told nobody now on calls i just have to mute him till he's done being weird so you so we can go back to working oh my fucking god you mute prime um just so you're aware, I've told nobody. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking to Eris. The panel host gets modded. Eris is someone I asked to help regarding... Uh, okay. Okay. God. Mo- There's so many goddamn streamers in the Twitch sphere nowadays. All right, I'm getting a little too cold. So I'm putting that down for a second. <sighs> I'm not cold like my whole body, but the ice, the ice pack is starting to give me f- some freezer burn in the parts that I put it... Directly on my skin. Eh, she's the only only people I trust. It's all just weird stuff. I told him he should stop because I'm ki- um I'm kind of an un an unpaid employee, and the only reason I'm calling is to talk about work. His response was, "Oh, but then you could always say you're working on something to make me stop." Like, yes, dude, that's the point. Cringe. I haven't told anyone in the community about this, but you, but you either. My close friends IRL know, but they. Wait, I thought this was, I thought she'd already come forward and told other people. I don't, I don't know. Maybe this is like out of order. I mean, yeah. I guess Samantha Banana was the only person who knew it was Prime. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she'd kept, like in the previous screenshots you've read, she never said it was Prime until this person. I haven't told the name of the community. My close friends I all know, but they don't even know what Twitch is. So that's not much of a worry. Lol, can I offer some help? Would you let me talk to Prime about it? But yeah, it just makes it hard because I'm trying to get more people from different communities to come on. And it's good for me to meet people. But uh, so I know Destiny got involved with this and um, I haven't seen very much of Destiny and Dylan's debate uh, that happened yesterday. I saw bits of it um, and I saw that a lot of the online left last night was shitting on Destiny. Um but then this morning, things on Twitter, at least, seem to have flipped around. I know Prime did a panel or, or did a stream last night for about an hour where he showed screenshots that had not been seen before that apparently told, from what I heard, and I haven't seen them yet, quote, a very different story. Um, so that's kind of interesting. If I were to guess, if I were to put my brain Uh, If I were to put Destiny's brain inside of my brain right now, this part here would be something that I would pick at. And I don't think it's an entirely valid argument, but it does stand out to me. Um, Like, if you're being sexually harassed, 
and you're in the position Katarana has been in here, um, as scary as it is, you just need to come forward. You really just need to come forward. Um, and you need to put out as much evidence as you can. Like, if, if you're in this situation, let me give some, like, really helpful advice. If you're in a situation like this, start gathering screenshots before you come forward. Start gathering screenshots, start recording Discord calls, start co make, make a folder on your computer, and start collecting all the fucking evidence that you can, and then come forward, okay? Gather... As much evidence as you fucking can. Evidence is key, all right? I know you may think that we shouldn't have to need evidence to make accusations like this, but come out with it anyway, because it's going to help you a lot in the long run. Because we're talking about people's careers, okay? People aren't going to take your accusations seriously if you've got no evidence. Um, you know, you gather as much as you can. That's the best advice I can give in a situation like this. It, it, it'll help a lot. Um, are, are you... Luna, Luna, what are you... Are you kidding me? I'm doing a segment right now. You good? Okay. Jesus. Jesus, the cat's being a, a girl boss today. Um... Do you think I'd get backlash? I'm just afraid if I don't get the comments... I don't, then the comments are going to keep happening and possibly get more uncomfortable the longer this goes on. You know, me probably, but I don't mind being, like, demoted for something, for doing the right thing, because if he is doing it to you, I'm afraid he may be doing it to others in the community as well. We'll see the next screenshot, which I think is the last one. I did ask about that. Um, I said I don't think it's a bit risky for you to be talking to me this way like if you do this to everyone you'll get in trouble he was like oh i know who not to talk to like this oh okay great thanks it just makes me wonder about the women who have left the space and don't want anything to do with prime anymore you know tbh though i think it'd be helpful to speak to him i've always had a hard time with dealing with this and i thought i was doing better but clearly i'm not being direct enough do you want me to i'm pretty direct and thick-skinned I'm always worried about it hurting others. I'd say if you're un if you're comfortable, do it. I don't want to hurt any aspect of your life, though. I'll be fine, I promise. Well, then, thank you. Your help means a lot. Zan legitimately engaging in sexual harassment denial? Facepalm? Wait, oh my god. Wait, are you fucking serious? Wait, holy shit. Are, are you fucking kidding me? Wait, Kasona, wait. Hold on. You're, you're trolling, right? Kasona, Kasona, you're baiting, right? That's bait, right? That's bait. That's bait, right? You're baiting me, right? Kisona, that's bait, right? Please tell me it's bait. You're a regular here. Please don't be that stupid. Please tell me you're joking. Please pret please tell me you're pretending to be an idiot. Please tell me you're pretending to be an idiot. Kisono, I need a response. Come on, man. Woman or envy, I don't know. Come on, please tell me you're just pretending to be stupid. All right, mods, keep an eye in chat. You know what to do if... If they're not pretending to be stupid. <clears throat> Alright, so we've read through all of these. What is important to note here is that Samantha did talk to Prime about his behavior. This did not stop him from continuing his behavior. Over the course of, of the months, Prime has said just absolutely wild things to me. Unfortunately for me, and fortunate for him, much of it was over Discord calls. Gotta record those fucking calls, man. I'm telling you, my but the best advice I can give you right now, if you're in a situation like this, is before you even like before you ever come forward or tell anybody about it, you start collecting screenshots and you organize that shit. You make a folder on your computer, you start collecting evidence like crazy. Cause when you come out with this accusation, you want it to be fucking groundbreaking, okay? You want it to be no one can argue against the facts, the evidence is all there. Cause, cause you need you need to have that. You want to make it so anybody who even attempts to argue against your side of things would be laughed at because of how much evidence you have on your side. Um, Xander Hall, they have been posting cringe all stream. I wouldn't take it too seriously. I was baiting. Okay, okay, they were baiting. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. Sometimes it happens, you know. Uh, over the course of the months, Primus said just absolutely wild things to me. Unfortunately for me, and fortunate for him, it was mostly in Discord calls. He made... He would make comments about my breast size and how much he liked my ass and asked me to show it off to him. 
I've been told over and over now, how, over again, how gorgeous I am without reciprocating any of the same language. I was once so desperate to get away from his comments that I swallowed oral anesthetic and phone calls to get him to hang up. He's proclaimed that he will move to Europe for me as I had planned at the time to go to the Netherlands. He's told me that he wants to sleep with me, even though I was not ever reciprocating any of his flirting or inappropriate comments. He even once said that I have enough information to end his career when I asked, why do you keep doing and saying things that could get you in trouble? He's responding responded with, I know what girls would and wouldn't talk. I guess I just look like one of the girls that would never talk. Damn, dude. That's like a really strong accusation. Like that that's an accusation of like active um of uh of like active malice. Like, oh, I do it to you cuz I know what girls what would come out and like tell the public and which ones won't and I know you you won't. Like that's like some fucking like Harvey Weinstein like supervillain shit right there. Um fuck. Yeah, but that has zero evidence backing it up, Xander Hall. Yeah, I know that, Lonnie, but still, you know, we're going to look at the evidence and we're going to see what we what conclusion we come to at the end of this, okay? So let's read some of Dylan's thread now. There is multiple people who are willing to come forward and also admit that they were present when Prime admitted to doing many of the things that um and that if Cat recorded the calls, I'm screwed. So here are the screenshots that I saw yesterday. And there's some stuff that sussed me out about it. Um, oh, wait, never mind. Wait, never mind. I forgot how Discord worked. This doesn't suss me out as much. So when I originally... So obviously, let's look at the messages. Miss you. Die. After I kiss you, I'll have nothing else to live for. No. Yes. Bye. Good night, gorgeous. No. So freaking cute when you do that. Looks really really fucking bad now when i originally saw these there was one thing that sussed me out and that was that between like every message it kept saying one block message one block message and i thought like messages had been deleted there and i thought it was like super sus but what's actually happening here is that um uh katarana has prime k's blocked so to take the screenshots what katarana did was um unblocked the messages individually to screenshot them um the advice that I would give would be screenshots, the entire collage of screenshots should have been taken before the drama happened. Listen, when I was falsely accused, I know this isn't completely comparable, like someone making the accusation and someone disproving accusations and they were falsely accused aren't exactly the same thing. Um, but regardless, I'm going to um, show you guys something. Uh, like... If you can do what I managed to do here when making accusations towards someone, like, this is what I did. This is how much evidence I collected. And granted, I had help because more people were involved and capable of helping me collect this shit. But, like, when I came out, I had this many screenshots. and I had, I had a novel of evidence here. Like, I had so much evidence to debunk everything. Like, you, I, because I started collecting it, like, as soon as shit started to go down, and I got people to help me collect it as well, you really want to, like, fucking start collecting that shit before it all goes down, because that's when people start deleting their messages. That's when people start panicking and deleting their account to try to de destroy evidence. You want to start getting on that shit right away. That's my advice to any of you in chat who are, or maybe in the future, get sexually harassed. Start going fucking big brain with that shit and just start collecting that evidence and organizing it before you even come out with it, okay? Because that's when people start hiding shit and you don't want you don't want evidence to get destroyed. So we got more here. No, so freaking cute when you do that. Oh, I don't need a wake up call anymore, by the way. Gotcha. Are you awake? Shit, never mind. I completely forgot you asked me not to call. I'm up, yeah, sorry, I guess I was just excited to hear your lovely voice again. Go to bed, no you. I'm cringe, you're beautiful and amazing at what you do, and you know it, nice work. Also, I didn't realize that the teaching session was today at 1pm. I have to get sleep, so I won't be able to make it. Um, call ended, I guess Katarana called? Wait, does this mean Katarana engaged a call? Or that, um, because this is at 12... 12 and this is at 12 15 and they had a 35 minute call 
and then this is at 5 p.m. So this is five hours later, roughly. So does this image mean that Katarana started the call? Because I know a lot of people, um, I know a lot of people kept bringing up uh, that uh, it's a little sus that she kept on like calling and being in very long calls, um, which is weird, I guess. But then again, it is her job. But at the same time, 35 to, I don't know. Um, and then this is five hours later. I Yeah, on the same day. I'm awake, gorgeous. No need to call unless you just want to hear my voice to comfort and soothe you. Is that offer to come on the Royale still good? Get back to me soon. I need to fill a spot. Never mind. We found someone. Hey, I'm really sorry I overslept. After Prime saw that she blocked blocked them and told him the reason why was sec for sexual harassment, he created a war room so he could get in front of the situation when it comes to messaging. Um, okay, so apparently they made a cert, like a little group chat called Katarana War Room, and they had um, uh, uh, Twoby, Prime Kai's, and Samantha Banana in it, at least it seems. Let's read over this. Prime Kai's changed the channel name Katarana War Room. That's pretty cringe. That's a very cringy choice of name. That's a very cringy choice of name. That is a very sus point of point uh, uh, choice of name, I might say. Prime K is that Samantha Banana? By the way, Samantha Banana is one of the people that um, Katarana came forward to and voiced the allegations prior to coming forward. I just reached out to Dylan Burns. He called me a sex pest and then blocked me on Discord. Might have to go to war. Twoby, I think you and Dylan need to talk about this right now. He's just going off whatever Katarana said, and uh, and who knows how she's painting this to him. Um, this is interesting. I don't know who Twoby is and what they know, but this sounds a little bit like... I don't know. Let's just read these, okay? I don't know him, but he seems like a good dude, so I doubt he'd want to be involved in outright slander. This person seems to be convinced that it's slander. I don't know who Twoby is. I think it's actually Doobie. I know who Doobie is, but I don't know who Twoby is. It is Doobie? Okay, so clearly Doobie here, from what my chat's telling me, sounds pretty convinced that this is slander. Um, it might be helpful if you had someone mediate, maybe Destiny. Dylan is friendly with him. You need a neutral party that is respected by both sides who can look over everything fairly. I think it's the best fit, TBH. I don't know if Destiny's the the best person to bring into a situation like this. He uh he he might he might get a little mad. <laughs> um and then Samantha Banana came out and said, "I know a neutral third party, Lauren Southern work for you." God damn it. Uh Bob, Rob Nor. This is clearly a joke. This is very clearly a joke. I remember hearing about this when Destiny and uh, Dylan were debating, um, but this is clearly a joke. Like, clearly Samantha Banana wasn't literally saying Lauren Southern or fucking Rob Knorr should should be the, the mediator of this. But it is weird that Samantha Banana, who was one of the people that Katarana came forward to before making this public, joined the Katarana War Room and isn't having a response like, oh my god, this is disgusting, get me the fuck out of here, you're a fucking sex pest, um, Katarana told me what happened, um, yeah, it is weird that Samantha Banana was willing to, like, support Prime here, based off of those messages we saw before, which just makes me think either Samantha Banana is, like, a two-faced piece of shit, or... Maybe it's not as one-sided as things have been made out so far. What do you guys think? I want to hear your thoughts. I'm not giving my thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts. Does this seem sus to you? Hypers, if you think this is sus to you. I think Samantha, uh, Samantha Banana was getting lost in the meme sauce. That would be very disrespectful if that was the case. If if there was a like a sexual harassment allegation being made and you're just memeing around about it, like we're taking this shit seriously. We're not fucking around here. We're analyzing this shit. This is a serious segment. I've heard some sus stuff about Samantha Banana, but I don't personally have an opinion. I don't know know much about them. Yeah, I don't know much about Samantha Banana either. I've never heard of them prior to today.
Interesting. Um, and then here's a, here's a thing from No Nothing. Wow, Katarana Streams, thank you so much for having the courage to speak out, and I'm so sorry that you had to go through this. What's this? Um, okay, we already read that. We already read that. What's important here is that Samantha did talk to Prime about his behavior and did not stop him from continuing his behavior over the course of the months. Prime is just absolutely wrong. Things me, blah, blah, blah. It looks like I was going to ever talk. Yeah, we already read that. Okay, so I guess this is just like a response, like the, the general reaction to what happened. Now, so I believe Samantha Banana said some shit on Twitter today that ma makes things a little less cut and dry. Oh, wow, they follow me. Um, I'm Okay, cool. Um, I saw, like, a tweet or something earlier. Uh, August 17th. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw something that was, like... I, I swear this morning I saw something. Maybe the tweet's been deleted. Maybe it never existed. Um, yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, this Mike from PA parody account that I follow uh, and does follow me as well. That's run by Poe on head is making a meme post about me. Who told him at Xander Hall about this account? This boy should keep my name out of his mouth. I am stronger than ever. I've ascended and I'm not strong until not stopping until every Vosh destiny uh, sycophants gives up on politics. I am bread tube. I am Tiff. I am sewer socialism. I am. I know. I am no Hassan. I met AOC. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love my profile picture. I'm keeping it forever. Even once the meme dies. I'm keeping that. It's great. This is the Samantha thing. Oh, yeah. I thought it was on Reddit. Thank you, Kynist. Kynist coming with the shit. So this is a post on the Destiny subreddit. It says, it's over. Everyone is folding. Now, Destiny is on the side of Prime Kai's and all of this. So Destiny's community is as well. So this is... Perhaps some evidence that makes things a little bit uh, interesting. Xander Hall, I really think you should hear Doobie's perspective on this afterwards. He was involved in a lot of the original group chats and was pretty good faith about all of this. Um, if you got links in a minute, then send it to me. Let's take a look at this. So this is from San Samantha Banana today. This is the person that, that um, Katarana came forward to. Holy shit. I owe a massive apology to Prime for all the misrepresentation on my behalf. I am always going to listen to those who feel victimized. However, that does not excuse not being direct and thorough when approaching these sensitive topics. I took everything Kat said and never asked for proof. I also never went um, to Prime directly and asked for anything to, be clear this, um, to clear this up flat out. In the end, it left me with only Kat's side, which made it seem to me that things were worse than uh, anything she had proof of. I also didn't help. It also... Wait, I also didn't help by not being direct with Prime the first time I brought this up to him. I understand she didn't want me to be direct about it, and that's her right. However, it's Prime's right to know if he is being accused for anything so that the side of it can be seen as well. This isn't about Destiny, but listening to him is what motivated me to write this. It's not about Dylan. It's not about me. This was about Kat and Prime. I had the opportunity to clear this shit up. Uh, the second it was brought up to me, and I failed Prime, I don't expect uh, forgiveness and don't need it. I needed to make it clear that this was a massive information clusterfuck, and I was part of it. I will be the first to eat the humble pie, and it's not a small piece either. I don't want this to happen to anyone in this space again, so to avoid me making this fuck up again, I'm quitting production for anyone's panels. This wasn't for personal gain or gain for Dylan or consolidating power to a streamer to prove that I'm uh, walking the fuck away. I honestly just want, I was, I honestly just was trying to be supportive of Kat, but I left Prime in the dust and that was both unfair, wrong, and shitty as fuck on my part. If there's anything else I should address, just yell at me in my Discord or whatever. I'll 100% address anything brought up. Feel free to screenshot, post, share. I'm sorry, Prime. Good luck in the future, Samantha. Whoo! Wow. Um... This makes things a little bit less cut and dry. This is the person that Katarana had come forward to and, and had shown screenshots of. My girlfriend Lonnie says, I hate to say it, but Destiny did a real good job poking holes in the prime as a harasser. If you say anything else, you, you are a harassment supporter narrative. Yeah, I mean, listen, Destiny sometimes doesn't miss, you know? 
That's a little, that's pretty fucking sus. Guys, do we think that's sus? Because that come that seems pretty sus to me, dog. That's a little bit sus. I'm not gonna lie. All right, that's a little bit sus. Babe, watch the Prime K's response in the Destiny Dylan talk first, and that orders Xander Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my plan. That's my plan. We're we're gonna watch the VOD or any clips if anyone has them on YouTube. Um, we're gonna watch the. So basically, that's the end of like this. Luna, Luna, stop. Luna, Luna, stop. Really? Oh, she wants to jump down. She doesn't even want to be on the table. Oh, wait, never mind. She's sitting in my lap. Luna. All right, you got to jump down then. You got to jump down. Either get back up on the table or jump down. I can't have you sit in my lap. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh, little baby. I'm really bad at picking up cats. There you go. There you go. I'm really bad at picking up cats. I'm really bad at picking up cats and dogs, frankly. I'm really bad at it, but I'm, I'm getting better. We can tell? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Cherry's gonna have a lot to edit here. Cherry's gonna have a lot of shit to edit here, because these little, these little, like, you know, stun locks, we gotta do something about it. I'll teach you how to hold a cat. Lonnie's already taught me. It's just, I'm really bad at it. Um, it's so hot in my room right now, VM Draco. She's not cold. All right. Oh, fuck. This has gotten a lot less cut and dry than I thought it was. Let's see if we can find Prime Kai's VOD. I only saw, like, maybe 30 seconds of Prime Kai's stream last night. Wait, he's live! Oh, shit, he's live right now? And his stream starts in, in less than 10 minutes. So apparently, I think he's just doing a normal stream, though. So we're not going to be, like, doing live coverage of his stream or whatever. Um, damn, he's getting lots of viewers, too. Already has as almost as many viewers as I do, and he's not even live yet. Jesus Christ. Dude, I fell off like crazy, dude. I fell off like crazy. I'm a fucking dead streamer. Damn. Okay. So, last night... He did this live stream, and I didn't get to watch it live. But, um, thankfully, we still have the VOD. It was almost two hours long. We're going to go ahead and speed up, speed it up and just go ahead and watch his response, as much of it as we can reasonably, without taking literal hours to, um, to do this segment, because we're already 52 minutes in. Um, and we're going to go ahead and, because I've heard, I've been told, we're going to put on two times speed, that uh, Prime shows some screenshots that have been omitted previously. We're going to watch the entry, like the intro. Then I'm going to skip ahead to the screenshots when he shows them on screen. And um, and that's what I'm going to show. Feel free to go look at Prime's response uh, in its entirety if you choose to. Um, I would actually ask that you do. I have to be with this. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, yeah, today's been interesting. Less than 24 hours ago. Wow, he actually talks pretty quick, so two times speed might be a little too fast. Let's put that on 1.5. And it's quiet. Why is it so quiet? God, that's really quiet. Can I can I volume boost this? Uh, but focus here shouldn't be me. Um, be this interaction that we're dealing with. Um, to my to my audience, uh, people are going to be typing in chat. I know you're going to be adding at me uh, some support and some not so much in support. I'm not going to be able to read all that. I'm not going to be able to do any of that. So I'm going to be lying my mods. My mods, I'm sure. Well, let's let's see. I imagine I got a few mods out. Oh, we got a lot of mods here. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hi, mods. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of mods here. Uh, I see some people sending donations. Uh, that's not what this is about. This is, I'm trying to focus on this. So I, I, I'm not going to be thanking anyone for anything like that. So please excuse me. Just I need to focus. So to my mods. Uh, 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 let, feel free to allow people to uh, express themselves, right? Uh, whether it be in support or not so much in support, that's okay. Um, the important thing is, is that, I mean, well, as long as they're not um, violating TOS, then allow them to express their feelings. That's fine. But again, I appreciate all of you taking time out of your... Uh... So far, he seems to have been handling it pretty well in his intro. He's black this whole time. I thought he was a, he was Slavic uh, for another reason I, than I just imagined it. Yes, he is an African-American man. Um, now, if it turns out that Prime is innocent, we can uh, make it about race. Uh, that'll be fun, huh? Uh, no, that's uh, that's cringe. Why would, you po why would you point out that he's black, CEO of Autism, in, in YouTube chat? Why would you? Why is that relevant? Why? I know we're like on the online left, and we like to point out when people are white, and we make fun of them for that. But we don't. 
We don't do it the other way around. Xander Hall, we can't make it about race because Cat is black too. That's true. That's true. That's true. All right. <clears throat> let's go. Uh, let's look at these screenshots. I am intrigued. Um, can't read it? You can't read it. Okay, all right. Oh, you can read it. Okay, great. I can read it. Great. Thank you. Great. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so let's, let's, get, let's get to it. Uh, it says, so wait. Uh, this is... Wait! Destiny tweeted this. Also seems important to the situation. It better be. If this is a shit post, I will... Um, Monday, Monday night, yeah, Monday night, um, uh, where Adorana was assisting me, uh, she was assisting me with, uh, uh, doing the reverie, right, so up to the point of last night, she was helping me produce, that's what her job was, she was a producer here, on my channel, um, and, uh, she was helping me to do that, so we're talking about our friend Revolt Rise, um, no, it's fine. all right, and then, uh, the next thing, uh, I, I say, this is like 40, at 9.40, um, I, uh, I say, hey cat, some asshole in my chat is saying that you quit being my producer, I don't believe him, but I figure I should check in anyway. Her response was, uh, I'm sorry, I can't work for you. I keep doing it. Want to lead me to being complacent about mistreatment and harassment in my professional life. Don't think I not anymore about its rights. Uh, deserves that. Uh, this is already an issue I deal with, and I don't think it's smart for me to encourage such behavior. But there is, and have I abused you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, this is uh, when I believe I learned of the situation. So, this is from my perspective. Uh, I'm not trying to invalidate anyone's perspective. So uh, that, that's this, so. This is this is uh, August 17th, right? It's August 18th where I'm at right now. So it's been just just over 24 hours. So, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. now uh, we are going um, to. Go. I'm going to give I'm going to give some advice right now. Uh, if you're a YouTuber or a content creator and you're in a situation where you've been accused, um, especially if you've been falsely accused, if that's the situation you're in. Um, never respond on stream. Um, never do it live. Um, make a prepared video. Um, there's no reason whatsoever to do it live. Um, you're going to be prone to uh, gaffes and uh, fuck-ups when you're doing it live. Uh, you're going to be looking at chat, and chat's going to be flaming the fuck out of you if you do it live. Make a prepared video. Not only does a prepared video help you make your make it more streamlined and, and, and con like, easy to, to do, do not pull the Pokimane and do a live response, okay? The difference between a live response and a prepared response can be fucking earth-shattering um, in terms of, like, your reputation. And uh, we're going to try out some other uh, uh, DMs, right? So, um... Wait, uh, someone said something stupid in chat. But videos are kind of cringe and seem rather performative? No. No. We're talking about people's careers here. When your or someone else's career is on the line, you don't respond to the accusations like this. You don't want to do it live. Do it in a video. Do it where you can where you can script everything and edit it and make it very easy to watch. The last thing you want is for your response to this to be a two-hour VOD clip. You want it to be more like a 10-minute, highly edited, well-put-together, scripted, with screenshots and evidence shown on the screen when they need to be, um, and, and read in a way that's not like you you want it to be as as polished as possible. I promise you. Some so Katarana and I uh, would talk all the time about lots of things, right? Like it, also in terms of like you know the show, right? Um, the, so our relationship supersedes her working for the channel. She first showed up. There wasn't working for the channel. Uh, that was months and months and months after. Yeah, I suppose Lonnie, but I I suppose you could have thrown something together, right? Afterwards, in fact, I will show you evidence of that. Okay, um, but uh, like we would talk all all the time about these things. So, um, <laughs> all right, um, all right, uh, so, uh, let's go here. So, uh, this is, uh, the debate. So, uh, Katarana has put out a, a, a screenshot of a piece of a conversation, of a piece of a conversation, uh, that we had, uh, previously. Um, and, uh, uh, it said something about, like, I should die, right? And people have been talking about this a lot. So, I'm going to give you the full context. Look up to the side of this. You'll see it says April, uh, 22nd, right? What's my second there? Um, and... Uh, I, I hope you guys can all hear me. Like, I don't know. Uh, so if, if people can't hear me, uh, um, mods, let me know if you guys still can't hear me, because I don't know what's going on. But, like, anyway, um, so uh, I'll give you the full context of that message, right? Anyway, uh, she's, I say at the start of this, I have a gift for you, uh, blank. 
Uh, we hear you. Great. Thank you. Um, I have a gift for you. Blank. Um, I have a flat earther. Whenever you see these blanks, these are Katarana's real name. Right? She shared with me her real name. Actually, kind of happened by accident, but whatever. Um, uh, but uh, that's her real name. I am not trying to dox Katarana, so I've cut that out. So that's what those blanks are. You just have to take my word for that. All right. Um, I have a flat earther. Stop. Well, seriously? Stop it right there? Nope. Where is it? Where is this garbage can? Uh, they really want me to debate. Uh, me? Well, do you want to have a moment? Uh, or to talk? Are you busy? I'm cleaning, so give me a bit. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, then it comes on to the next message. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I have I woke up at 3 a.m. and was like, ooh, yeah. I'm going to the bathroom, VRB. This is me. Uh, back and ready. I'm not, lol. Uh, I'm cleaning, as I said. I'm mopping and stuff. Yeah, and I, you said to give you a bit. It's fine. Can't talk now. It's not urgent, but I'm looking to put this debate together on Friday. This is a lot of me just talking about setting up this debate. Um, so it's not really interesting. Uh, or it can be later, like the stream stuff, right? You can meet most of this stuff, right? Um, uh, this might make me cynical. Why? Uh, uh, and I only have a limited time to do 1v1 debates. Um, next uh, message, right? Uh, okay, good. I'll call. Uh, I'll be good to call soon. Just about to vacuum, then I'm done. I guess we can talk uh, when I uh, wake up, uh, when I wake back up. I'm here. Uh, this might be a, a break in time, um, but Discord does not put like the, the minute by minute timestamps like after the day, so I, I can't tell you exactly when those two uh, messages are in relation to each other. But uh, so I say I'm here. Oh, okay, call me maybe. Uh, is what Karana says. Uh, we had a call for 41 minutes, and then after that we are laughing apparently. Right, we're laughing a lot. Uh, again, I can't tell you exactly, relation, but I believe this is we are laughing because of our call. Um, uh, uh, so yeah. Uh, so uh, we're laughing here. Um, she says, I really cannot move my mouth. I, I can't feel my lips. It feels weird, so I won't ooh woo. Uh, I really cannot move my mouth, so she continues on with this. And then she, she starts memeing with me. Um, she says, ooh ooh ooh, naya, right? Uh, she, goes, she puts all these um, uh, emotes in the chat. These are her emotes. Oh, no! Fuck! Are you fucking kidding me, dude? So for those that don't remember, cause or they just got here, this is apparently... So apparently what Katarana did was put, like, some numbing agent, I guess, on her lips and mouth to make it so she didn't have an excuse to end the call. That's what she claimed. Um, and right here is also where the uh, the screenshot that she posted began. I hate this, okay? I ha You know what needs to be done from now on? When people make accusations like this, they have to leak their entire fucking Discord his like message history. Um, you know what? That's that's what I'm saying. Okay, uh, black out anything you don't want to be shown, like uh, names and whatnot. Besides that, just just put out the entire message history, the whole fucking logs, like what Vosh did with the sexual harassment drama. If you look up Vosh's logs for the sexual harassment drama, he put out everything from the beginning of their talks to the end of it with only docs uh blacked out the entire fucking thing you can go read it Whew. uh oh and it looked like prime was the one who was sending these emojis in the uh katarana cut yeah i love that the, the fucking katarana cut or just don't be bullshitting that too lonnie but it makes things um yeah Ooh, the ooh woos too the nya 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 that's like and the spamming the emojis like this just this doesn't seem like the behavior of somebody who's being sexually harassed like I, I don't know i mean i guess it could be like trying to keep some sort of guise of being okay with it up so that she won't you know get in trouble or like won't lose her ability to keep working with prime um but like it's pretty sus that she cut the screenshots here. This was the beginning of the screenshot she put out. That's pretty, that's pretty sussy. That's a little sus. Not gonna lie. Do we all agree it's a little sus? Feels kind of like a stretch. No, dude. If you're putting out evidence against somebody and you're cutting off your me your screenshots right before you're spamming emotes and saying, I literally can't move my mouth, lol, I'm laughing, ooh, woo, nya, 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 and you're making accusations of unwanted sexual approaches and that's what's right above it, like, at least include that and explain why you were acting that way. Like, because... Now you've just set your, yourself up for disaster when you come out with that, with, with those screenshots that may, that changed the whole story because you decide to leave this out, even if there is a valid explanation for why you're acting this way. Right. Uh, and then she says, then I say, miss you. I'm not that sure when this is, but I say, miss you. And then she says, die. And I say, after I kiss you, I have nothing else to live for um, because uh, I, was, I was trying to be playful. Um, it's kind of crazy, but you know. Anyway, it is uh, she says, uh, 
Uh, yeah. Um, and then it goes on after I kiss you. Uh, no. Yes. Bye. Good night. Gorgeous. No. Uh, so freaking cute when you do that. Um, oh, I don't need a wake-up call anymore, uh, by the way. Uh, because I would give her uh, wake-up calls. Um, uh, I would wake her up often. So uh, she had trouble waking up before. She's saying, she says she doesn't need a wake-up call anymore. That's what that's a reference to. Um, so uh, and then we go here. Um, more. Oh, Bro, I don't need a... I can't remember the last time in, like, the lefty spear that, like, a... Um... When was the last time that a completely cut and dry case of sexual harassment allegations came out? The last the last one I remember was Chud Logic, and that one was complete bullshit. When the when that thirty year old accused Chud Logic of grooming her. When that twenty when that per, there was someone who lied about their age, and then there was someone Alabrel. Yeah, Alabrel was pretty cut and dry. Never mind. But ever, no one liked Alabrel, so I guess that was just like a cherry on top. Because everyone fucking hated Alabrel. I always hated Alabrel. Um, but but that that drama was just sort of like a like a cherry on top, I guess. Like, oh cool, my my somewhat irrational hatred of this person has now been completely justified. I love when that happens. Do you you guys ever have a case where you like kind like you irrationally hate someone? You could never explain why you dislike them. There's just something about them that pisses you off, and then you get then like later on like, a ton of reasons for you, to, like, justifications for you to hate that person comes up, and you're just like, I didn't need it, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know? that Has, has that ever happened to you? It's it's always a nice feeling. Yeah, the Izzy Bear thing happened, right? Where I, I really hated it, Izzy Bear, but there wasn't any, like, hardcore, like, evidence for why I should hate them, and then all those allegations came out about the, yeah, shit like that. Yeah, the opposite of the worst person you know just made a good point meme. It's the worst person you know just did something really bad that made everyone hate them. Like uh, when Corviday put out the touch grass as ableist tweet and everyone dunked on them. That was really fun. That was really, really fun to see. That was like, I, I was basically rock solid for a week watching that happen. It was really fun. I wake up call anymore, by the way. Yep, gotcha. Are you awake? Shit, never mind. I completely forgot you asked me not to call. I'm up. Yeah. I'm uh, sorry. I guess I was excited to hear your lovely voice again. Go to bed. No, you. Next day. This is April, uh, April 20th. Uh, oh, actually, two days later. Uh, just checking in on you. Hope your finals are going well. So uh, that exchange where she says die, it seemed to me like uh, a, a playful exchange uh, to me. So, yeah, it seems that uh, way That was my too. perspective. That was my perspective. On... Yeah, the, 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 the impression I got when I read those messages was things had gone so far that her responses to his advances were literally now die, fuck you, get, get away from me. But this seems a lot more like it was playful. This is not outright saying... I'm not interested in you die like that. That's not what the, that's the impression I got originally reading those screenshots primes extra context definitely seems to be, you know, kind of, you know, it changes things it's a lot less cut and dry now. My, my thoughts. Uh, but yeah, uh, I have things I, on this. So someone I, I managed to see, I'm not looking at chat, but someone asked me, was she working at me at this time? Uh, no, this is April. No. Um, she's, we're talking about the channel all the time, but I believe I've still, my, my recollection is that my uh, past producer was working for me at this time, and this is April, uh, this is April. So my recollection is that my past um, um, guy was working for me at that time. That's my understanding, okay? Uh, so um, so uh, we'll move on and we'll talk about some other stuff. All right, so uh, that was that guy that she released during her twit longer. That's where that came from. That, that's why I showed that particular one. Um, uh, so, uh, we spent a lot of time to, uh, together. It, it seems to be implied that, like, uh, she didn't really want to spend time with me. And maybe that was the case. I don't know. Um, but uh, uh, this is a lot of... Let me uh, blow this up. I um, hope you can see that. Yeah, uh, this is... Uh, uh, it, it seemed to be applied that she didn't really like spending time with me, you know. Um, but we talked a lot. We talked a lot. Uh, you can look at the timestamps. Um, this is more earlier in our, our relationship, right? Um, so we're going to go through these real quickly. There's not much here, but um, we spent a lot of time talking. Wait, someone on Twitch is saying, lol, you must not have watched the Dylan Vod dummy. Listen, Fat Daddy 2552 if you're not a troll and you're actually being sincere, what we're doing right now is going from the very bottom of the evidence list to the very top. We started by reading the accusations, the twit longer, the screenshots. Now we've moved on to Prime's response, so we're going over Prime's response. Then we're going to watch the Dylan Vod, and we're going to look at anything else on top of that, and then I'm going to give my position on all of this, okay? We're starting... From the very beginning, going through all the events, and then we're finishing it off with how with the end of the evidence that we have so far. That's what we're doing here. 
and then I'm going to give my take, okay? We're not leaving anybody's perspective or evidence out of it. We're going over everything. We're going. We're doing a comprehensive coverage of everything, all right? I barely even know anything about this drama going into the segment. All I really knew was, like, I saw a little bit of the screenshots, and I heard what my girlfriend told me, because she'd actually watched the streams. We're going into this... Com- I'm going into this basically completely unbiased, knowing very little about the drama. Uh... Uh, let me mod you, Kyanist, in uh, Twitch chat really quick. Uh, I believe that mods you. Yeah, there you go. You're modded now, uh, Kyanist. So, me calling her for three hours. Um, <laughs> uh, her calling me for two hours. Um, uh, uh, her calling me for three hours. Um, her calling me for four hours. Her calling me for five hours. Uh, me calling her for three hours. Uh, her calling me for four hours. Uh, uh, me calling her for three hours. Uh, another three-hour conversation. Me. Another four-hour conversation. Uh, this one lasted five hours. This one lasted six. I was helping her with uh, her work at the time, her, her real-life job um, at the time, and so we talked her talked for six hours. That was the end of that. So that yeah, was we, some we long conversation. We talked a lot. We spent a lot of time uh, with each other. Uh, so if anyone got the impression that you know. Um, that the, what there didn't seem to be a want to uh, interact with one another. Well, we talked talked a bunch, talked a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, it is what it is. But yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, that's that. Uh, I I really uh, cared. Um, I really cared about Tarana. This is what I'm trying to get uh, across. Um, so. Again, this apparently was one sided. That's okay, right? I mean, it's not okay, obviously, but like, um, like it's it's okay that she doesn't feel the same way. Um, I I thought that maybe it was more mutual, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna uh, show some uh, uh, conversations with us and just like give you a sense of our relationship. You know? Okay. So, uh, hopefully, um, you all. I hope you guys can. Be- all right. Uh, so this is us having a conversation. Um, oh, I, I think I actually released this one on Twitter, but I'll put it. I look at it as a sign of progress that people can make a whole ass career of hating me. You can't do that with nobody. Pretty cute. I try my best for you. Ew. Hi. Uh, how was your uh, how has your day gone well so far? I'm working now. Took a nap then. Uh, had some friends over. Nice, really. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. And I was pretty nice. Uh, it was pretty nice, by the way. Can you call me when you're done? She was asking me to call her. Um, to talk just you know, as we talked a lot. Uh, next. Uh, uh I, I'm, I'm guessing I'm streaming at the time, right? When this is happening. Uh, there's no timestamps, but um, other than the dates. But uh, I say you keep making me smile. Says bitch, I see that looking like me in eighth grade. Get help, all awful. Even your comments are cute. I can live with this. So this is- We got some stinky, sussy memes here, chat. These are some stinky, sussy screenshots. Like, granted, these screenshots are clipped, you know, fairly conservatively. We're not, this isn't a whole line. I know this isn't a whole line of of messages that, like, if I brought up a Discord, like, DM line right now, there would be quite a bit more to what could be screenshot on the screen here. It's possible he was clipping it maybe dishonestly. So far, it seems like perhaps she was clipping things a little dishonestly. However, I will say, it does look like this wasn't as cut and dry as she was being very open. She wasn't comfortable with these interactions. It, this is what I was talking about before. Remember at the beginning of the segment when I was talking about how any type of um, not straightforward behavior can be sort of rationalized by a lot of dudes as like interest, um, which is not an excuse but it is a thing that happens and why if you don't feel the same way about this is usually a thing dudes do about a dude you should probably be very careful not to send mixed messages um honestly i i'd hate to say it but if you're friends with a guy and that guy really likes you and you don't feel the same i would honestly advise to just cut them off entirely like in the long run that's what's going to be best for both of you like, r- legitimately, if a guy likes you and you don't feel the same, um, cut the guy off entirely. Don't try to continue a friendship. Don't try to, like, stay close friends or anything like that. Just say, I'm sorry, I'm not interested in you. Um, 
it's not personal, but I think we should stop talking because I think it's what's best. I'm, I promise you, please, if you know a guy likes you and you don't feel the same, do not do the we can still be friends thing because they will interpret that as that there being some shred of hope. I promise you they'll interpret that that way. Cut them off entirely. Say, I'm sorry, but it, it's best for both of us if we just stop talking. Please, I promise you it'll be better. It hurts and it sucks to do it. Just cut them off entirely because they will try. They, they will, their brain... Our fucking male brains, our fucking testosterone-fueled stupid male brains will find some way in our denial phase to interpret that as some lingering interest, like some lingering chance. Like, I promise you, um, just for your own good, just end it. For the, for the good of both of you, just end the entire relationship, the entire friendship. Don't try to keep being friends. It just won't. It we're, Dudes in situations like this are actual cope machines, I promise you. Like, the amount of copium. Dudes will be so high on copium, they won't be able to even... The, like, it, it, they'll see it as interest. I promise it's you. Just like um, us. I misinterpret this as her, you know, having some sort of interest in me. You know, this playful back and forth. That was my fault. That I did not... Bad take, Xan. Some men are, are emotionally mature enough to handle it. I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry, but you're a fucking idiot. Actually, it's maybe too mean. I'm sorry. I'm I'm I'm, I'm pulling a destiny here. I'm I'm sorry. Ninety nine percent of the time, dudes huffing copium will fucking interpret any mixed signals as as, as interest. Okay. And ninety nine percent of the of the time, dudes will probably see. Um, any type of mixed signals or what they interpret as mixed signals as interest, okay? Like, if you're saying you're not interested in someone, make it extremely clear you're not interested and then end it, okay? Don't even try to continue being friends. Even because even if they don't interpret it that way, continuing to be friends will honestly probably make both of you more miserable. At the very least, the dude more miserable. I promise you. It, it just... Like, my my policy is if I like somebody, if I like a girl and she doesn't like me back... I'm not going to continue to try to be friends with her because I know it's just going to make things awkward. And I know it's not going to affect me positively. Um, like, I just... Yeah, it's done. Like, if if, if if I've been told by a girl that I like that, I, that they're not interested in me, I don't care if we're best friends. I've learned my lesson from this shit. It's over. I'll fucking unfriend them, block them, no longer be friends with them. I will not speak to them ever again. Like, that's, that's my policy, at least. I uh, see that... Apparently, uh, she did not feel the same way, uh, but uh, this is how I looked at it. Um, uh, okay, so. Uh, all right, so uh, this is her feeling down. Let's fuck yeah. I say, hope you're having a great week. I, I kept thinking about you today. Well, what did I do? You're just generally amazing, but uh, no, you didn't do anything. I just miss you. Oh, well, thanks. I feel like a pile of shit, but yeah, well, uh, what has you feeling down? Let me go on and talk more about that. Um, this is a separate conversation, more banter. Um, just checking in on you. How are you feeling? Hmm, I'm not sure really, but I usually don't. Um, uh, well, yeah, so so what she's saying there, what she's saying there is that she usually doesn't know how she's feeling. Like, that's why I was saying before, I didn't know how she felt about me. She's saying, I don't know how I'm feeling, like, that at that moment. So that's what she was uh, saying there. Um, uh, hmm, I'm not sure really, but I usually uh, uh, don't. Would you like to spend some time together soon? Seems like we never got get to talk anymore. Oh, uh, notice uh, the timestamp here. This is June. This is June. So uh, this, this part's very important. So uh, I... Our, our, our talks were very flirtatious at the very beginning. Right? Very I disagree with Xander Hall. I mean, maybe that's just my perspective, and I find that turns out um, better in the long run. But yeah, like at least for me, like if I'm interested in a girl and she's not, she doesn't feel the same, I'm not going to continue to be friends with that person because it's just going to suck, right? Like, why would I be? Why would I continue to be friends with somebody that I like am interested in that isn't interested in me? Like, it's just going to be awkward and weird, at least for me. Um, I don't know, maybe when I get older, that'll change, but it just usually tends to be a, a recipe for disaster. So I just, yeah, I'm 41. Zan is right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's just best to just move on with your life, right? Like, listen, I've lost so many friends in my life. I've gone like, just not like because any, we had a falling out, but just because, you know, I, I grew away from them. Like I just move on and it's a little harder to move on if you're still friends with that person. I'm friends with my ex. I mean, it's different for everybody, but I'm, I would probably never continue to be friends with an ex. Like, yeah, I, I like, 
I can pretty definitively say I'd probably never continue to be friends with an ex. Flirtatious. But uh, at least but I was flirting. Maybe she was not flirting. Okay. Uh, I, I, I see some criticism of me um, for that thing. Um, that maybe she wasn't never actually flirting back with me. I and mean, that seems to be the case. I mean, she feels that's what she feels like. So that, that looks like that. And then I did not understand that. So. Oh, by the know. way, um, I'm, what I'm not saying here, because I know someone might clip it and try to make it sound like this. I'm not saying here that dudes can't have like female friends without it being about sex. I'm talking about like if you have a female friend that you are sexually or relationship wise interested in and you like engage with her and she does not requite those feelings and those feelings aren't going anywhere you're going to continue to be attracted to them um then you should just get out of there frankly i would go as to, as far as to say in some cases continuing to be friends with a girl that you're interested in in who is not interested in you can be self-harm in a way um like that'll fuck you up because now you're you're friends with them and you get and you're gonna end up seeing them with whoever like their partner if they end up getting a girlfriend or boyfriend so now you have to see them together that's gonna fucking suck like it's just going to suck for you if you continue to be friends with someone that you're interested in. Just don't. Like, my broad advice, obviously, you know, it's different for everyone. Just just don't. Girls feel that way too? Yeah, I, I imagine they could. I'm a guy, so I'm just telling my story, but yeah. If you're crushing on that friend, you can have an attraction to a friend as long as you're capable of self-control, but sometimes you're crushing on, um, crushing on is very bad to try and cope with. Yeah, communist, you're 100% right. But uh, my point is, is that later on, right, um, uh, this is when this is around the time Katarana actually starts working for me. I'll show you proof of that later. But this is in June, right? Uh, Katarana has not been working for me the entire time. When we're flirtatious, uh, it was when she wasn't working for me. She was in the channel. She helped out, like in terms of like um, like I don't know, like any other uh, my mods. She was a mod at the time. Yeah, she was a mod in my channel. So she helped out like uh, my other mods, but she wasn't getting paid by me at all. Um, again, I will show you proof of that later on. So that's coming. But uh, yeah, this is um. This is, uh, so this is at the time, this is much later in June, just before I started paying her, and we weren't spending time together at all. We weren't talking like that. I mean, we're talking our DMs, right? You can see the day before, like, it's like, yeah, June 8th, and we're talking our, our, our DMs a bit, but, like, we weren't spending those long hours, like I showed you before, like, having voice calls and everything. Uh, she seemed to have moved on, and I tried to accept that. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, so, all right, um, so I'm going to read through this so you can understand, but, yeah, we weren't talking like we used to, so I'm, re I'm trying to reach out to her. Uh, so, uh, just checking on you, how are you feeling? Mm, I'm not sure really, but I actually don't. We'd like to spend some time together. It seems like we never get to talk anymore. My sleeping schedule uh, is pretty fucked. It was mine. Don't care. I'll make time for you. Um, I'll have to see because you actually, uh, you usually, when I wake up uh, at the t weird times, I just start streaming. I'm just reading it as she wrote it. I'm just reading it as she wrote it. Um, when you are free, let me know. I'll reach out when I'm done streaming. I'm, I'll always make the effort because I care about you. Even when I'm two days late. Um, I'm not sure what she's two days late for. I'm not, I'm not Oh, do you guys see it too? Hypers in chat if you see it too. Hypers in chat if you see it too. Because were I in Prime's position, this would come off as flirting. This would come off as flirting to me if I was in Prime's uh, position. Asking to hang out, then her saying, well, I kind of have a shitty sleep schedule, then saying, I'll make the effort because I care about you, and then responding even when I'm two days late. This comes off as like, Really? You care about me even when I blah, blah, blah? That's what it sounds like to me. That's what it comes off to me like. And were I in Prime's position, if this is the context of this situation, that would come off to me as like an uwu, unless... Yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah. It's a little sussy. But anyway, she says, even I'm two days late, it goes on to say, uh, yep, uh, even when you're two days late. I think you're special, blank, that's a real name. Um, Karana, you won't uh, convince me that you aren't. Um, special needs, got him. Uh, that feels to me like, oh, it doesn't matter. Um, you are amazing at so many things, blank, real name. Jokes are not one of them, ouch. Uh, but you are very pretty, so there's that. Uh, sorry I'm slow, I was in the shower. Very pretty dumb. Um, okay, I can compromise on that. I believe that's the last time I ever like made a- That's flirty shit, come on, dude. No. Um, this is flirty shit. Like, you're pretty, you're very, you are very pretty, so there's that. Sorry, I'm slow. I was in the shower. Very pretty, dumb, smiley face. Come on, dude. Dog. This is like back and forth, like, deprecating, like, flirtation shit. You know what I mean? Where's my cat? Oh, my cat's laying behind me. Okay, she's on the other chair. Like, come on, like, come on, dude. Like, that's a little bit, that's a little bit sussy. We're, we got some, these are some stinky, stinky, sussy screenshots right here, all right? 
this is clearly not guys can we all agree at the very least from the evidence we're seeing so far this is not cut and dry this is not this is not stop this is stop like that's the way i'm reading it at least this isn't coming off as you need to stop this is coming off as oh stop yeah that's absolutely how this is coming off. this is not as cut and dry as i initially thought a comment on her appearance i believe uh, so um i tried searching on dms uh, for anything after that if i missed it then i apologize but this is what i found uh, it could yeah. be awkward but, avoidance yeah uh, um all right so uh, uh let's go uh to the next one so uh she's having some issues here right she's having some issues um she says she's still sick sick with what low, low blood and stuff okay is there a treatment for this and eating well um and are you three meals a day of course not um i'll be able to read this of course not. i'm not awake for long enough to have uh, three meals i sleep Okay, damn. You have someone who can be there to help you. If you had someone to make meals for you, maybe wake you up so that you can get on a regular schedule. Hope you can hear me. Um, uh, uh, regular schedule that would help. Uh, yeah, but I don't. Um, and then hold on, can I see all this? Uh, you can see most of it. Um, yeah, but I don't. Uh, and I say, damn, you might might be cut off. Damn, that's exactly what I would do for you if I was there. Uh, that's nice, but you won't. In fact, I'll, I'll turn off my webcam so you guys can see the whole thing. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, webcam, just a moment so you can see the whole thing. Uh. Uh, damn, that's exactly what I would do for you if I was there. Please also remember, Kat is autistic and open about her struggles socially. Careful. Be very careful with that. Because now flip the perspectives, okay? What if um, uh, uh, Prime was also autistic, right? He might be. I don't know. I don't. I can't always tell if someone is autistic or not, right? Um, like, you could make the same argument to defend Vosh when he did this when he had his sexual harassment drama. Vosh has autism. How do you know he's not just really bad with social cues and he literally just couldn't pick up on the fact that uh, I, I forget what the girl's name was wasn't interested in him, right? Like you got to be careful with that, right? You can't always say, well, oh, well, you know, like because you know you can't. You got to be careful with where you apply that standard. You got to apply it on both sides, right? It would you make the same excuses for someone who did sexual harassment who was autistic themselves? And they weren't picking up on social cues that the person wasn't interested, you know? Would you give them that same excuse? I, frankly, I would to a degree. Like, if there's somebody who has autism and really can't pick up on social cues, and someone's not being very clear with them, then maybe then I'd give them the the you know the the benefit of the doubt. But like, Poppy, yeah, 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 that that was the name. Um, yeah, you got to be careful. You got to be careful with that. But at the same time, Lonnie has a point. Autistic people are perfectly capable and shouldn't be in, um, infantilized. They might have some additional difficulty, but you can't treat them differently. Yeah. I mean, an autistic adult is still an autistic adult and should be able to tell at some point when advances are un, uh, unreciprocated. That's nice, but you won't, lol. But I, I can help in other ways. How about I set up a bunch of timers and I call you regularly throughout the day to make sure you are feeling, uh, you are awake and eating. You think that might work? Uh, let me blow this up for you. Uh, uh, and then at some point later I said, by get up, you mean get out of bed, like you can be present for a meeting, but you're having trouble physically moving out of your bed. Exactly, shit. Okay, uh, can you stock food next to your, uh, bed? You must not the healthiest, uh, at least better than nothing, right? I have none, uh, of it has iron. Uh, well, let's make a list of foods with iron, might be, uh, good, even if you just keep them in cooler next to your bed, uh, that would be a start. And you only have to keep this up long enough to get strong enough to move around, then you can focus on other foods and getting into a schedule. Stepping away from my computer, but I'll be checking my phone. Um, I'm going back to sleep. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Please uh, eat, uh, get something to eat and let me help you in any way that I can. I'm up if you are. Um, and Cataron is a fellow snoozer, dude. Holy shit! One thing, uh, you know, one thing I can relate with with Katarana here is that Katarana is clearly a uh, snoozer. Um, as am I. I am quite uh, a snoozer as well. Um, uh, you know, I like to sleep. I'm, I'm, I'm snoozing. Yeah, I'm. A, a, oh yeah, Ban Antoine, by the way. Um, yeah, go ahead and ban Antoine from website chat. The uh, next there. Uh, yeah. Um, so that was that. I was I just, I was just trying to help, um, because, I don't know, I, uh, I don't know. IDK, she's just being cold, she's cold shouldering him at every turn. I don't see this as being recipro reciprocal or flirtatious response from her. No, you must have just gotten here, because that, did you post manifesto, did you just get here? Because we've been watching this for, like, 20 minutes now, and, uh, I'm sorry, but this is not cold shouldering at every turn. No, 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 no. Uh, that's... I thought that I should. So I, I, I tried to help. Um, but maybe I was overstepping my bounds. That's a possibility. Uh, next. 
Uh, okay. Um, uh, so, uh, this is another game. Um, hmm, I think so. Just going to take my meds. Just got to take care of yourself. I'd hate that anything ever happened to you. Nothing uh, will happy if I mention things happen. Uh, I, I will just be tired. Yeah, I'm still worried about you. Um, to use uh, Dylan Burns' uh, emotes here. Um, do you want to talk later on? I'm up. If I'm up, sure. I'm available if you are. I slept like 18 hours yesterday. So, yeah. Uh, Dude, that's gotta hurt though. Dude, hold on, can I fuck? So Katarana and Dylan Burns are dating. I don't know if they were at the time, but if they were, this makes my point even like harder. Dude, imagine if you like a girl and she's fucking emote cucking you. You know, like she starts spamming emotes from the guy she's dating, who's a streamer, in in your DMs. Like that's fucking. That's gotta sting, dude. That fucking stings, dog. That would be, I would be running to the kitchen to find, so I'd be running to the kitchen to find a fucking knife is all I'm saying if that happened to me, dog. God damn. That fucking stings, you know? Oof. Yikes. In a video game. In a video game. I cared about this woman. Um, I tried my best to help out. It's possible that I missed also, I'll make it clear, for me at least, like, with my social skills, had a girl that I was interested in that was dating someone, or if I knew they were dating someone, had spammed their boyfriend's emotes in the chat, I would have taken that right there as time to disengage and get the fuck out of there. At least for me, multiple times, at least in these messages, I would have decided, alright, I'm gonna be honest, I probably wouldn't date somebody who had the amount of issues that Katarana seems to have, like, with the sleeping and the the sleep schedule and all that, like, I, I, I probably wouldn't, like, in, in the first place want to engage in a relationship with that person, even if I found them attractive and interesting, um, just because, God knows, I don't need that stress in my life. Like, I, I've already got my own problems. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, well, now we all thought he was gay. Yeah, I thought Dylan was gay. I, I, I did. I was like, wait, because, like, Dylan... Like, I, I was confused when I first heard about Katarana and Dylan dating. I was like, wait, what? Wait, I thought Dylan was gay. Like, I thought, did, did, was there, like, did Dylan ever say that he was pan? Because I, I, yeah, I, I, I guess he's bi or pan, right? Because, like, I, I, I was under the impression that Dylan was full on 100% uh, pure gay. Like, the, the full on, like, pure gay. Um, but I guess not. Missing something. I was missing something there. Um, and she was trying to tell me that she didn't want to hang out or you know, want my help or anything like that. Or maybe she didn't want to have interactions with me. But I I tried to make the effort. Maybe I should not have done that. If that was wrong, I'm sorry. Um, all right. Uh, that was that. All right. Um, yeah, no, don't. Okay. Yeah, don't so uh, let's take a look at fine, but, um, when confused. cats started working for me. So this is, uh, so th this, this, these tweets are, um, uh, this last thing is in July. July. That's so keep track of the pure gay thing's obviously a joke. Dude, come on. Um, no, I'm, I'm not like saying anything bad about Dylan. I was just confused. I was, I was like, I, when I heard that Dylan was dating a girl, I was like, what? Wait, really? I thought, I thought Dylan was gay. Like, yeah, no, I, I was really, really confused at first. I was like, wait, is, was Dylan bi actually? I mean, dude's got a LGBT flag behind him. I thought, he, yeah, I was just confused as fuck. that. Now take a look at this. Yeah. He's exploring uh, his sexuality, our, our PayPal. Clearly. This is my PayPal. You can see at the uh, uh, corner there. Um, this is uh, my PayPal. Uh, this is me sending money to Katarana. This is her working for me. Right? There seems to be some sort of implication that Sheesh! Katarana was working for me the entire time. She was an employee of mine. And so for that, it was inappropriate like for me. To, um, 600 bucks. Uh, Shit. Um, uh, it, was, it was inappropriate for me to um, uh, be talking to her, to be flirting with her like that. But as I said, our flirtations relationship like, ended quite a while ago. right? Um, as far as I can tell, like at the... It, like even before me, John. Less than minimum wage. I can't really blame him for that. Prime doesn't make that much money. Okay. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? Like I have trouble paying people that have worked for me. Like when I like I like I it's tough, okay? When you're a smaller creator and you want to hire someone, it's really tough to pay them. Cause you if I don't know if Prime does this full time, but like uh it was two fifty a month she was getting paid. Yeah, if she if they agree to two fifty a month, then that's fine. Um, but it's tough when you're a smaller streamer, if you want to hire someone on to help you, cause it can be a lot of work to do all the stuff you have to do when you do it, you know, a streamer does, um, uh, it can be a lot of work. And if you want to get help, it's really tough because you can't really afford to pay much cause you're still smaller. 
This obviously isn't an excuse for larger craters, like, uh, like say, like someone the size of Destiny or Hassan or whatever. But if you're like uh, 50k a year, Andy, you can't be affording to pay someone minimum wage. You can't if you're making 50k a year, which is what I make, and I guarantee Prime is probably making less than me. Um, I make 50k a year. I can't afford to pay someone minimum wage for even part-time work. Like. You, I, I, like, smaller streamers just don't make that kind of money. Yeah, like in May, I want to say. But, uh, yeah, Flutrace's relationship kind of ended. At least I ended. Sorry. Again, G doesn't feel the same way about how the relationship's going, but, yeah. So, uh, this is uh, my payments towards her. These are my payments. Um, so, they're only two payments. Too. As you can see, um, I'll, I'll, I'll even blow it up a bit. Um, uh, 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 yeah, this I know is I a, a CA, payment on June 27th to Katarana, and um, for 294 Canadian dollars. And uh, uh, in August, another one uh, to $250. So those are only two payments. As you can see, um, I did a whole thing like ever since February. This is where I searched. Um, there are other payments here, but none of them uh, were to Katarana. If she has proof that there's other payments, then uh, uh, she can show them. But these are when she was working for me, like only just recently. So only two payments um, uh, that she were received. Uh, the June payment was for July work. The June payment, so that's why you're wondering, well, she also worked in July. Where's that payment? Well, the June payment was for July work. So yeah. Um, that's how I remember it. That's how I understand it. That's my oh, reflection. Oh, yeah. So what um, it seems so you... like here is because this payment was 294 that he paid her for the work she did in part of July, then all the work for June, which is 250 and then all the uh, work for... Um, uh, oh, no, no, no. He paid ahead of time. He paid for her work in, Ju uh, in June, the end of June, all the work for July ahead of time, and then all the pay for August. Uh, and and he seems to be paying at the beginning of the month, uh, which is nice. Um, getting paid at the beginning of the month is nice. June payments for July work and then August. So uh, she was not. Um, uh, so she was not at all. Oh, oh, Lonnie messed me. Uh, can't tell if you're ignoring this or just not seeing it. Uh, so again, Xander Hall, if you want, we can really skip the rest of the video and go straight to Dylan slash Destiny chat. We've gotten the major takes from this already. Uh, Luna, are you throwing up? No, not my. Oh, right on the carpet. Fuck. Hey, Lonnie, could you get Luna? She just threw up on my carpet. Uh, now I gotta clean that up. You okay, Luna? You alright? Is that just a hairball? She's still throwing up. Are you okay? Oh, well, at least it's not bloody or anything. She's good. Looks a little pink from my angle. It's, it's, that's how it normally looks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Luna, I'll just leave the door open so it'll cool down here and she'll come out. Yeah, yeah, you can leave the door open. I'll come back when you're upstairs. Booba. Um, <clears throat> alright, I think she's okay. I'll have to clean up that vomit when I finish streaming. Yeah, it looks like it's just a hairball. Okay. Yeah, cats do that sometimes. Wish she hadn't done it on my carpet, but it's not too hard to clean. It's pretty easy carpet to clean. At all reliant on my work, Kyron has multiple other jobs. She is a very hardworking individual. Um, so she wasn't relying on it, so it's not like pressured at all to stay with me, right? Like, I'm not I'm paying her so much. Uh, to be part of my uh, community, to, to do the work of producing, of like scheduling. Scheduling is what she was doing, in case you don't understand. In scheduling. So, uh, this was not keeping her off the street or anything. I don't think so, Saucy Fox. Thanks for kind and to help me out. She did a fantastic job. We actually really did a bang up job of that. But, um, uh, these are the payments. So, it wasn't some long... So during those flotation times, which was in um, March, April, and maybe in May, but I didn't see anything, but maybe, but maybe. Um, uh, like, she wasn't working for the channel like that. I was not her boss. Right? If you want to call me, count me as a boss, then it is during this time. And... Xander Hall, there are DMs later on showing that she did shut him down, but your choice is whether you want to go over them or not. Um, let's go ahead and scroll through and see the screenshots, because Lonnie said we could stop here, but I want to see more if it's there. Like just like one voice. <clears throat> Sign, my situation is a lot more complicated. Tell me. I know you're working. Haha. -ha. Lol, always, always prefer talking to you. I'm pretty damn good at blowing off work. Always have been anyway. My friend is not only living in another country, but is now going to be moving further away to another continent. She's crazy obsessed with work, which I love about her. Oh, this isn't with another friend. This is prime talking to a friend. Um, she's extremely ambitious, but she focuses on work to the detriment uh, of everything else. But it's not a matter of communication. In fact, we've talked for hours and hours after stream, spending 12 hours with each other occasionally. She has a whole list of issues, but the big looming problem is that uh, in intimacy is very low on her priorities. Literally, ha She literally has trouble understanding other people's emotions, but apparently isn't officially autistic. Close to it, though. And this manifests a number of different ways, and each of them will take a relationship, uh, will make a relationship very difficult. 
Holy shit. Yep, that's a lot. Uh, it's ADHD. Or it's hard. I thought this was ADHD. It's hard because it's just how uh, who she is, you know? Um, how can you even call her out on it? Um, does she feel the same about you? Um, mm, he doesn't know if she feels place. the same. Uh, she has a whole list of issues, but the big looming problem is that intimacy is... Yeah, let's just skip to the next screenshot then. ...slow on her priority list. He lifts... Blood suffer you a little bit. Um, that's another thing. Uh-oh. She also has trouble processing and feeling her own emotions. She goes to a therapist to help her interpret all um, of this. So despite spending a ridiculous amount of time with me and sharing a lot of personal stories, she's still not sure how she feels about me. Wow, okay, that's frustrating for you. It gets worse. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh, this is this Joe? The author about me. Wow. Oh, there it is. Mission blacked out. Mission blacked out. This is about me. Right. Wow. Okay, that's frustrating for you. It gets worse. Um, then we go to the next uh, one. Um... Yeah, she has all of the uh, uh, all of the above. It's an open question as to how far I'll pursue this. I'd like to meet her at least once and see where it goes, but I'm unsure if it's even worth the effort at this point. But I do really like her. Personal information, of my friend Joe, unnecessary to show. Um, we've avoided calling what we have a romantic relationship, especially since she doesn't yet know if she officially even likes me. Since I learned of all of these issues, I've stepped back and reevaluated my expectations, so I'm not putting my heart on the line. I just uh, look at this as friendship for now still. At first, I thought uh, we really had something, but I've, always, I've already mourned that loss and didn't hold out hope that things will change. Um, so this is back in, like, April, isn't the Yeah, so this seems like... These are not the words that a malicious predator has with somebody. Because we we have to talk about the fact that the 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 messages that were put out by Katarana, at least at first, seemed like they were meant to give the impression that Prime Kai's is a serial sexual a, a malicious serial sexual harasser. And this just doesn't come off to me, personally. You guys can give your thoughts in chat. I'm just giving my opinion on this. These just don't come off to me as the messages of a malicious sexual abuser or, like, sexual harasser. This comes off as the messages of someone who's very confused um, about how someone feels about them. And they don't know what the appropriate response is. That's what this comes off to me as. This makes me wonder about the knowing which girls will talk claim that that cat alleged that we didn't get any screenshots or evidence of that that kind of came off as malicious on Prime Kai's part. Xander Hall, the real issue is that all the alleged stuff allegedly happens in voice, but if that's true, then Prime must have been really careful in his DMs, lol. That's the thing. When you're making unprovable accusations, it's really fucking tough cuz now you're in the you're stuck in this line of do we believe the accused whose career could be ruined by these accusations? Like, these could be life-ruining accusations. If you're a streamer and you have accusations thrown at you that could literally destroy your career, that's life-ruining. That's life-ruining level shit. Um, and if you're the accusee, if you're the accuser and people don't believe you, that can be life-ruining for you as well. Because you're obviously going to get a lot of pushback for making these accusations in the first place. And, obviously, uh, you know, you're trying to have justice met out, you know? Um, yeah. So, uh, this is, has some information blacked out. This is information from Joe, right? This is Joe talking about her whole private situation. I don't feel the need uh, to release that. I can turn my webcam on. I don't feel the need to release that, so I will not uh, release that. I will respect my friend Joe's privacy. I ask that you do the same. Um, uh, yeah, she has all of the above. So it's an open question as to how far I'll pursue this. I was talking about trauma uh, previously, but I'm trying again, I'm trying to respect my friend Joe's privacy. Um, also, I hate to say it, there's a lot of people um, in my community, since I have such a left-leaning community, um, there's evidence could come out definitively that um, Prime is innocent, and there would still be a lot of people who would still take Katarana's side. Um, this is just a reality of being like on the left, is there's a lot of people who will just straight up take what an accuser says, like like legitimately believe all women no matter what like no matter what the evidence says it's just a thing that's going to happen um yeah i i just yeah it's just a thing that's going to happen especially in my audience because we're so left-leaning here uh so it's an open question as to how far i'll pursue this i like to meet her at least once and see where it goes yeah but i'm, I'm sure it happens uh, uh, if it's even worth the effort at this point but i do really like her 
Uh, we've avoided calling what we have a romantic relationship. I was in the wrong here. Um, I thought that maybe it might become a romantic relationship. I was in the wrong here. Especially since she doesn't... Uh, He's owning up to it at least. Let's see the next screenshot. Understanding that things are different that I, I try, tried uh, with this person. I feel comfortable. My uh, fault. Skipping by frames won't, won't do it. They buffer. God, Twitch's buffering uh, is fucking awful. When you when you oh, skip around. Yeah. I'm just finding this out. I'm oh, here it is. Okay. Here's where apparently it switches to another screen. Just enjoy my here we go. I'm not sure what that means. Please use your words in the future, but I'm assuming the answer is yes. Lol, it means yes. Understand, teenager. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, holy shit. Okay, this is interesting. Whoa! Hold on. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay. What's going on here? Well, it means yes. Understand, teenager. Are you uh, saying you have trouble? Hold on. Wait, 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 what's going on here? And then she sends this gif, right? Oh, so, wait, 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 there's another screenshot that we skipped over. Fuck. Sound device. That is my fault. That's me. This is in March. If you look at the timestamps. Uh, I'm unhappy when... Me being dense. Okay. Maybe it's me being a bad... I can understand. All right, it says, right, we if we ever date, you'll know uh, I'm unhappy when you when I ask you to socialize uh, with friends. Well, it's cute that you think I date. Slash, and this is, again, the beginning of our, um, this is in March, if you look at the timestamps. Um, well, it's cute that you uh, think I date slash do long distance. Um, but I, I'm a big time streamer. I can maybe make my way to the Netherlands one day. She was uh, uh, planning on moving uh, to uh, Europe, like I said previously. Right? Um, and I was like, you know, for streaming, you can do that anywhere. So I was like, yeah, maybe um, I could stop by around your place. Oh, the Netherlands. Um, anyway, uh, and she says, well, I'm telling you right now. Okay, Prime and Katarana, we got to have a talk about this here. Saying I'm telling you right now, you don't want to date me is not a definitive no. You have to this sounds like, "Oh, I want to, but we could never." That that's what it comes off to me like, "I wish we could, but yeah, you don't want to date me." It's like a challenge, it feels like, not a rejection. You have to say I cannot date you and I'm not interested. Please stop making it romantic. Please stop trying to do that. That you got to be more clear than that. Like that's not a that's not no. I think the sentences below are the first signs of pushing back. Yeah, let's now, let's uh, see you the don't rest. Want to date me. I'm telling you right now that I never listen to sound advice. That is my fault. That's me. That's me. That's me. Well, that's nice. But like you objectively cannot date me. It never works out well with me. Also, I'm not straight, and it sometimes becomes a problem. Are you saying you're bisexual? Uh, moving on to the next one. And then she sends this gif, right, of a dancing guy. Moving on. I'm not sure- Bro, she sent a gif of, like, a dancing dude in response to the question if she's bisexual. Like, I'm not straight, but it never- Wait, oh my god. It's, it's so- This is just so not up front. This is the- This is the most ambiguous- This is the most ambiguous response I've ever seen. It's so muddy. You gotta not be obtuse. Please, men and women and NBs out there, please be upfront about how you feel with people that are interested in you. Please, even if it means you'll hurt the other person's feelings. In the long run, it always works out better if you just... If you just say... I, like, go hard, dude. I wish... Like, I... Like... Be cruel about it even. Listen, hey, guess what? If you're not interested in someone, here's my advice. Be cruel in your rejection even. That'll work out better in the long run. Be cruel with your uh, with your rejection. That'll have better outcomes most of the time, okay? Because that is a strong, definitive no. It needs to be a strong, definitive no. All right? That's how you get across to someone in like messages that you're not interested in them. Now, don't get me wrong. There are extenuating circumstances where you're afraid to say no, and especially in person, it can be scared scary to say no. Especially if you're a woman and the person you're saying no to is a man, that can be very very scary. That can be very scary. But if we're talking about messages from across the fucking planet like this, 
you got, there is some amount of responsibility on you to make it clear you're not interested. If we're going to put responsibility on the accusee, the accuser needs to have made it very clear they're not interested. But we'll see what happens next. It's possible it happens. But so far, I have yet to see a definitive no. I sure what that means. Uh, uh, please use your words in the future, but I'm assuming the answer is yes. Well, it means yes. Understand nature. Are you uh, saying you have trouble being uh, faithful? Uh, no, uh, not, not when I'm not 15. Uh, just more because of the full thing uh, where I'm dead on the net and I have dated several times in my life. I'm just reading it as she wrote it. Okay. My boyfriend when I was in Haiti was in the States. I was dating someone that lived in Toronto so uh, until recently-ish. Um, just doesn't work much. I think it's nice uh, when I can dedicate a time to, uh, but since I'm crazy about work now, I wouldn't uh, work because I don't have time to be on the phone all day. Like I told you, uh, uh, Karana is an incredible worker. Um, so uh, she's her relating that. Like she, she's focused on her job at this moment. Uh, well, I'm not asking you to be my girlfriend now. Maybe your schedule will change in the future. Uh, I'm just enjoying my time with you right right now. Uh, for a variable set of reasons, it's not possible for me right now. So I'll just say don't hold your breath, but not in a rude, ew, boy. Uh, I, you have cootie way. Uh, I just literally cannot right now. I might not be able to. No! You said, just, oh, God! No! No, this is literally, we can't date right now. This comes off like is leading on, dude. You got it. No, just say no, please. Just say no. It should mean no, but you can't, but we have to be realistic here with people. Okay. At the end of the day, hold on. I have a question for all of you. What is the goal of coming out with accusations like this against somebody? Everyone in chat, I want you to answer me. What is the goal in making accusations like this? Typically, at least in my opinion, the goal is one of three things. Or one of two things, usually. We'll narrow it down to two. To have justice done, because some because someone did something bad to you, someone sexually harassed you or did something bad, and you're trying to have justice done, you're reporting it because you want justice done, or to help... Um, uh, uh, warn people in the future that this person is dangerous and may engage in, the, in dangerous behavior of sexual harassment. Other people need to be warned that it needs to be made public. However, the goal of this, right, is to prove that Prime K's is a dangerous sexual harasser, right? That is, and that Prime K's did something morally wrong. That is the goal of putting out accusations like this. So far, to me, this comes off as Prime K's misunderstood the like 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 the social behavior of someone who doesn't understand social interaction. Right now, it comes off as for in Prime K's position that it is completely reasonable for Prime K's to interpret this as "I like you," but it just wouldn't work out right now, which is not no, which is not saying do not engage with me in any way that is like yeah. We've already gone over that, yes. Yeah, Samantha Banana also retracted their statement uh, condemning Prime K's as well. Uh, 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 two later. <clears throat> and my work is my life, LOL. I hear you. And like I said, I'm not asking you to be my girlfriend. Uh, LOL, I can read real and then we can do. Uh, LOL, I can read real good. Also, I should clarify here, I've never spoken to Prime K's in my life, I don't think. Like, I, I think I follow him on Twitter. Maybe I liked... Maybe I liked one of his tweets once or twice, but, like, I want to make it very clear here. I have no, like, I have no eggs in this basket, okay? I've got no, um, like, stake in Prime being innocent or Katarana being, like, this evil manipulator or anything like that. I've legitimately got no eggs in this basket, okay? I want to make it very clear that, um... I have no horse in this race, okay? Like, I'm not trying to make excuses for Prime. I am going in objectively, looking over these messages, and giving my... This is these me, this is my first time seeing these messages. I should make that clear. I, my, I had no opinion on this drama going in before this segment, okay? I had no opinion whatsoever. This is us live looking at the evidence and forming our opinion as we go, okay? If you disagree with me, you better damn well have some... Like, if you disagree with my take so far and you think my reasoning looking at these messages is unreasonable, please show me where I'm wrong, okay? Yeah, sorry, Cherry, you got a lot to edit here. You can cut out a lot of this stuff, but 
but we're we're trying to do a deep dive into this, okay? I'm sorry, but this is one of those things that I can't distill into a 30-minute segment, Cherry. I have the best word. Um, well, I'll read this again. <clears throat> I'm enjoying my time with you. I like it. You don't have to post this hours, in a segment. Hours. You could also upload this completely unedited if you You're want. just happy to be friends. Oh, fuck. I'm a little bit now. Ha ha. And then she calls me for four hours. Uh... This man is heartbroken. So, I, I, uh, um, uh, oh, the call, what, someone asked me what the call's about, I have no idea, I have no clue what that's about, um, but we talked for four hours, we, we talked about a lot of things for four hours, I'm sure. Yeah, he said she couldn't do it right now. I was hoping for the future, right? So this is in March. This is in March. Um, and I continued flirting for a bit afterwards, right? That, you saw that in the other DMs. But like, I was hoping that yeah, maybe things would change. Things did not change. And in fact, I had the complete wrong idea. Okay? That's just how I felt. Um, Even if he misunderstood and took it as mixed signals, it doesn't take away the fact that at least in my opinion, it's kind of clear she's trying to let him down easy and his continued advances probably made her feel uncomfortable. The problem is, work, these allegations are supposed to be career-ending. When you make allegations like this, you are saying that you are okay with ruining this person's career, and if you're going to drop career-ruining allegations, it needs to be cut and dry that this person needs to be stopped. This person's career needs to be done. This person needs to not have access to the ability to pressure women into a situation like Katarana made it out to be um, in the first place. And right now it's coming off as we've got a guy who, like, someone who really wasn't clear that they weren't interested, at least so far from what I've seen, and a dude who is uh, very unfortunately in love with, with, with this person. And so far I have not seen strong enough evidence that Prime deserves to have his career fucking ended. Because at the end of the day, like, this is something that we all have to acknowledge, like, if you disagree with me on this, I will ban you from my community because you just don't y your your understanding of of the world and of this entire area is so lackluster that you don't deserve to have an opinion on this. But um, if you don't think that putting out allegations like this to some degree are meant to destroy the career of the accused, then you just don't deserve to have a take on a situation like this because you don't understand this this entire sphere of the of of the internet enough to have an opinion on this like you have to understand that when you're making allegations like this whether you realize it or not you're doing it to ruin that person's career now whether or not that career ruining is valid is a whole another situation uh for example alabrell left-leaning content creator somewhat comparable um had allegations levied against him and those allegations were damning and alabrell deserved to have his career ruined and i think that was a good thing that his career was ruined because now alabrell can't do the crazy sexual harassing shit that Elabrell used his platform to do in the past. In a case like this, so far, it doesn't seem like Prime deserves to have his career ruined over this. I thought about the situation. Uh, okay. All right, so uh, now, this part's important. This, this part's should important. have all been held, handled in private uh, so okay. far, from what I can So there's tell. an implication uh, that... Um, there's an implication that I knew about this. I knew about all this. Um... Yeah, there's an implication that I knew about all this that, like, I, um, uh, that I was told by my very much former moderator Samantha Banana that she, I mean, uh, she was apparently saying this on stream today uh, with others, but I did not know uh, that I was making Katarana come. Right. So there was one indication. This happened in April. This happened in April. Um, I'm going to show you all of that so you get a firm understanding of what happened. Okay. All right. So we're going to go into our DMs with Samantha Banana. There are different DMs. Okay. So, um, okay, well, all right, all right, okay. This is where we're going to stop in this because we've already seen Samantha Banana's statement, um, which has since, she, she Samantha B Banana has since retracted their statement condemning Prime, and Samantha Banana was on the inside of this and knew quite a bit more than we did and knew about it before it went public. So we are that's, all, that's kind of a point, I'd say, in Prime's favor, that Samantha Banana has retracted their condemnation of Prime. That's fairly significant. Now... I'd like to go over to Dylan's stream and go ahead and um, 
let's go ahead and watch the VOD if it's public of their, um, of Destiny and Dylan's debate. I didn't know that that was possible! Oh my god! Wow! Holy shit! I forgot the volume booster was on. Oh my god, it automatically started playing Dylan's last VOD and it just destroyed my ears. Oh my god. R.I.P. ear havers in chat. Jesus, Dylan. The fuck, bro? God. Alright, well here's the VOD. Let's turn that down a little bit. When did Destiny come on? Oh, and this is Katarana right here, because Dylan and Katarana are dating. Also, hold on, all right. We can only watch so much of the Destiny talk because it's so long. It's several hours. I, I, I was like, when, when the Destiny and Dylan debate was happening live, I watched multiple long videos dropping in and out. I want like I was like watching a long video. Then when that a ended, came and watched the Dylan Destiny debate for like two minutes. Then went left. Then watched another long YouTube video. Then came back and I went through multiple long videos dipping in and out of this conversation. It went on for a while, and from the sounds of it, they argued in circles a lot. But Lonnie's telling me I should watch it because apparently there's like something that happened that also makes things seem a little cut like less cut and dry. Like, where should I skip to? Did Kindness, Lonnie, do you know? Because I know Lonnie watched most of it. Half of it was them arguing about whether or not six-hour calls are intimate. Oh, there's a video of it? He want to bring me on because he knows oh, here's the, here's the VOD on YouTube. That's better. YouTube's no better when it comes to Fuck, going over a long VOD. I'll do it. There we go. Destiny called Dylan Vosh. That's funny. Well, Dylan makes a super definitive statement, and given the Samantha Banana stuff recently, eh, I'd okay if he'll stick to his guns. Read this, Hans and Samantha, apology to Destiny and uh, Prime. I like Hans a lot. I really like Hans. I should hang out with him more. He seems really fucking cool. Oh, here's... Okay, so Hans made a post on DGG. 1.1k upvotes. Cool. So Hans apparently had some involvement too. I know Hans and Prime and Dylan are closer than I am to this whole situation. So I guess Hans has some input. Let's go ahead and read it. Hans here. I jumped the gun and I'm sorry. Hey everyone, Hans here. I came out really hard against Prime yesterday and that was wrong. I didn't have all the information. My friend confided in me that she was harassed and I came out in support without dropping or doing my due diligence. I wasn't looking at it as a platform issue. I saw it as making a choice to support a friend and that was a big failure of mine as a creator and using my platform. I'm, I've been following this without, uh, without stop since it started yesterday and found out things that I was unaware of and my position has changed. I've already apologized to Prime and now I'm apologizing to you all. I'm sorry for the misuse of my platform in this and I'm and I'll try to be more responsible in the future. I'll make a, a longer statement on stream today after work. I don't feel right leaving things how they are, and I feel responsible to say something to try to make this whole situation less terrible. I'm doing my best. Sorry that it wasn't enough this time, but I'm going to do what I can. Also, thank you to the mods who deleted the post, mocking me, crying um, after the initial convo between Destiny and Dylan, and later me. I felt that I let people down and didn't um, help a bad situation, and it showed. Listen to my stomach rumble. Um, I've got a question for all of you, chat. Do we need to watch this three, this four hour long debate between Dylan and Destiny? For this segment. Do we need to watch this whole fucking thing? Do we need, do we need to watch any more? Or do we think we've seen enough? We've seen all the screenshots and the information put out now. That's all I really care about. I don't think we need to watch Destiny and Dylan debate about everything we've already seen. I think we can make our own opinion. I I, I think we've seen enough. We've we've got enough like stuff. I think for Cherry to go over. Yeah, I I, I think we've seen enough. We've gone over the the evidence. We've gone over the ed evidence.
I would watch the first maybe 20 minutes of it and then skip forward till when Hans joined and watch maybe 20, 30 minutes of that part if you're trying to speed or whatever. Do you want a sandwich? I was going to make you a sandwich. Hell yeah. Okay, but you're going to watch some of this. Okay. You can skip around a little bit, but there is some... You, want, uh, you, want, you need to see the part where Dylan talks about what he would do if he finds out that that any of, there's holes being poked in anything. Yeah, so, so far... The fact that two people... Dylan tells Destiny that there is no way he's incorrect about any of this and that he would say, you know, every, like, that he's 100% confident that he's got the situation figured out, you know? Like. Yikes. One thing I want to point out here that um, is perhaps a little telling is that two people who are very close to this controversy... Uh, which were um, Samantha and um, Hans. The fact that both of them initially came out in support of um, of Katarana and now have since uh, uh, taken that back, that I feel like is pretty big. Two people very close and personal to the drama taking back what they said before, being in favor against Prime in favor of Katarana. That does really lend some credence to the so to to d prime side of things. Like, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, Lonnie sounds like a DGGer right now, dude. Lonnie is as far from a DGGer as it gets. Destiny and Lonnie have argued on Twitter. Destiny is like shit talked Lonnie on stream and stuff. Like Lonnie is not like biased in favor of Destiny. Yeah, when he's right, he's right. Say what you want about Destiny, but when the man's right, the man's fucking right. Um, he's an asshole, and he can be right and an asshole. But when he's right, he's right. When he's right, he's right. When he's right, he's right. There's not much else to be said about that. All right. Let's give it a watch. Why not? Let's put this shit on two times speed, dog. You guys ready to hear Destiny talk at two times speed? That's gonna be fun. <sighs> All right, I think this oh, is where Destiny joins. Dylan. <laughs> Hello. How are we doing today? Ah, uh, things could be better. But they know. Seems like things are going pretty smoothly. So we got a lot of viewers on the stream. We're knocking off the competition. So we're making some progress. Knocking off the competition. I mean, Dylan Mafia is what it is. Um, one thing that I noticed that I don't know how I feel about is Destiny did did present a conspiracy theory. And I think while it is worth some consideration, it is not good to go to be so definitive about it. So <clears throat> there is a bit of an elephant in the room that you can't just ignore um, that we do need to talk about. Dylan Burns and Prime Kai's both run panel political debate panel shows. And Dylan Burns is dating the accuser, Kat. I don't think that alone is enough to say that there's a conspiracy going on, but you can't ignore it. Does anyone think here think that ought to be completely ignored in this in this situation where the accuser is dating uh, somebody who you could argue is competition of the accusee? I feel like you can't ignore it. You can't build it, it you can't build an entire conspiracy on it, but you can't ignore it. I, I could not in good faith ignore that. I really can't. Are they dating? Yeah, they're dating. Uh, I think Dylan admitted that they're dating. I thought they were roommates because I, I was. I thought Dylan was gay and that they were just roommates, but apparently they are dating. Um, give Dylan a break. He's exploring his sexuality. Okay, like Dylan's like twenty two years old, figuring himself out. Let let the man figure out his sexuality. I was just confused at first because I thought he. I thought he was full on gay, but 
shit happens. ContraPoints didn't realize she was a lesbian until recently. Remember her shame video? ContraPoints is, is in her 30s, I think, and, and didn't realize she was a lesbian until she was in her 30s. Sometimes it's a, it, it takes a long time to figure out what your sexuality is. Um, you know, I give the guy a break. She also realized she didn't realize she was a MILF until then. Um, okay, here's some posts from the Destiny Out of Context account. These are leaks from DGG chat from Destiny. Uh, and Destiny obviously wasn't live, live with this. And this is just his messages, no other context. So granted, this, um, you know, isn't the full picture, but we'll look at this. Lol, just real quick, quick to explain what is going to happen now. I can't watch or listen to anything. Vosh is going to try to call slash connect with Dylan, and that is going to be his big inroads now to these political scenes. This is bullshit. Va Vosh Dylan literally came up in Vosh's chat. Um, yeah, none of that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, this is stupid as fuck. Um, Vosh already has all the inroads that he needs. Dude's got hundreds of thousands of subs. De Vosh is just as big, if not bigger, than Destiny. He needs no inroads. He's been on the hippy dippy. D Dylan literally came up as a fan of Vosh. I just dropped half my entire sandwich on my lap. Oh, you, you crammed it all in one small plate. I got it, though. It's okay. I'll eat it anyway. I'll eat it anyway. It was five-second rule. Five-second rule. It's okay. Five-second rule. Um, yeah, like... Yeah, th this, this stuff is pretty, like, out-of-this-world conspiratorial shit. But who knows? Maybe you'll be right. That would be pretty fucking funny. But that, that line there was very stupid. Like, just me, like... Cause, Dylan used to go by the name Twuppy. Have you, if you go back and you watch any of Vosh's older content from like 2019, Dylan appeared in multiple videos and was always in chat, and his name was Twuppy. Um, he he, he rebranded to Dylan Burns, so this isn't like a thing where Vosh is like taking Dylan's side in this um, because he wants to build inroads with Dylan. They, 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 Dylan literally came up as a fan of Vosh. Also, I'm going to eat my sandwich while I watch this. Stay mad. So here is my, I just have like a couple like super basic questions. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Did it seem like at one point in time, Prime Case and Katarina had like a mutually flirtatious relationship? Not that I've been made aware of to this point, no. So when they were talking in their DMs about like, you don't have to call me to wake me up anymore. That didn't seem like a previously agreed upon thing. She does or that, if I, wait, I can tell you about that actually. She does that with, mm -hmm. there's a guy right now who does that with her called Fluff and I can bring him on and I can show you calls proving it. She does it every morning because she likes that to be her alarm because having someone constantly call her helps her wake up. I so you don't think that like, there are no logs of her being flirty towards Prime Case? As far as I know. And, like, what? wait, wait, is there? Send them to me. So I sent you one of his things. I could ask her for more DMs, too, if he's willing to... Do you not think it feels a little bit intimate to ask somebody to call you to wake you up in the morning? I don't think it's intimate enough for this type of behavior. By the way, I should mention, this conversation, this debate, is happening before um, Prime stream, where he'd gathered all those screenshots and had them out. Um, so yeah, just, just saying, just preempting, this happened before the Prime thing we just watched. Because things can be intimate in a way, like, of good friends, besides of, like, something like this. They could be, but if somebody's making, like, a lot of, like, hits on you as well that are clearly past the friend zone, like, you don't think that, like, maybe, okay, it seems like maybe there's something there? I've, honestly, no, I don't think that's enough for me. Okay, let's say, let's say that, so, ordinarily I wouldn't grant all that, because I think so we're already into Fairyland when we say that, like, oh, know. no, like, he's I've... 30, and I have her, I have him calling me every morning to wait, wake wait, me up. Wait, 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 was it every morning? Yeah. I don't know if it was every morning, but like Cat, for me, I can go I'm just saying, I'm just saying that like I'm just saying for 99 percent of people, Cat, you're like, was it every morning? Yeah. Did, did Prime call you every morning because of that one like morning call? So what was that morning call for? And you have other people do that as well, like Fluff and others, who are you not romantically interested in? Okay, well there you go. Well, so <clears throat> could you ask Katarina this question? Could you ask? I'm just curious. Sure. Was she having Prime call her to wake her up and after streams for months? Can you ask her that question? Okay. Uh, Pat, were you having were you having Prime call you after stream and before stream for months? It was reciprocal. They would call each other. Oh, okay. So now let's move a little bit past this. So my question is, at any point in time, is there any log anywhere between them talking where she says explicitly, hey, I don't appreciate this. Like, I don't want to talk in this manner anymore. Do you have a single log or conversation of any of that ever happening ever? No. So then how are we ever supposed to know that Prime thought that he was doing something that was in the wrong if they were already having a flirtatious relationship? They weren't having a flirtatious relationship. It was completely one way. You just said that they were Destiny, if I said you have a nice dick, after. you have a nice dick, you never respond, you're like, haha, okay, goodbye. You have a nice dick, Destiny, and I kept doing that. It was never reciprocated in any manner, and I pay you. I can only imagine someone clipping that and then doing the, um... 
All I can imagine after hearing that is someone clipping it and making that into this meme. I love if this I meme so much. If I need your body, I'll fuck it. Dick. Why do you come? Welcome. In 2077, what makes someone a criminal? Getting caught. I love that fucking meme, dude. It's the greatest meme on the internet. Fuck anyone who disagrees. You not think there's any problem there? If you and I were calling each other before and after every stream for months, and you said that I and one of us was saying they had a nice day, someone I would make that. Like that every time. Yeah, of course. None of it's never reciprocated ever. Well, I don't know if it's ever, never been reciprocated. As far as I know, if I'm like the, the link, somebody, he is posting images right now for whatever, and the closest yeah. I can see is like, I, I, um, I look at the sign of progress. Da, da, da. There's like nothing here that's flirtatious. So look, go read the DMs that I sent you. Nothing okay. here comes off as a little flirtatious, just a little bit. Yeah, let's check it out. I was just looking at this. This doesn't come off as of flirtatious at all. Really? No. I can put. This is also pretty shitty for Dylan. Because Dylan's dating the person they're talking about here. I feel like Dylan kind of might have an emotional sort of bias in saying, no, they weren't being flirty. Because it's got to be really uncomfortable to, like, concede that your current girlfriend was being flirty with a dude, like, just a couple months ago. Because um, she was being flirty, it felt like. At least from my perspective, it seemed flirty. Or at least you could reasonably interpret it from Prime's position as being recipro reciprocally flirty. Um... But for Dylan, it's got to be pretty uncomfortable. Dylan is right here. Fuck Destiny. Did you just get here, Icy Roo? How long have you been watching Di Icy Roo? I'm just curious. You're wrong, Zan. Careful how long you've been watching, Icy Roo. Answer the question. How long have you been watching the segment? Icy Roo. I've been here since the beginning. Nice. And you are too, like, honestly, that's a ban, dude. That's a complete ban. Um, if you've been watching since the beginning and you've seen all the evidence that we have and you still come out of it thinking that um, Prime is, like, a fucking sexual harasser, then, um, yeah, you're a fucking idiot. It's very clear here what happened is Prime um, misunderstood. Uh, or actually, it comes off as Katarana was not close to clear enough um, about not being interested in uh, any sexual advances. It was a lot of maybe or maybe someday. Not, I'm not interested in you. So stop doing talking this way to me. Well, I'll put it on stream. I'm fine with this. You keep making me smile, bitch. I see that looking like me in eighth grade. Get help, lol. Ruffle. Even your comments are cute. I can live with this. None of that comes off as a little bit flirty. That is, just, dude. Like, that is not, not enough, man. If that's all he can dig up, he doesn't got shit, man. Come on. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Hold on. The reason why I'm thinking about Prime is Katarina. Katarina's presented literally nothing. So if we're saying doesn't have shit, Katarina hasn't presented anything. Because what I would want to see from Katarina is one message where she says, "Hey, I don't wait, appreciate wait, this. I don't want clear, this anymore." To that's be clear, yeah. Katarina told him, "I have a boyfriend." Do you not think that's a good way to like say, "Hey, I have a boyfriend." I want you to know, I have a boyfriend. That's a good way to be like, "I don't want to do this." Yes. Like, that's no. one of the best ways to turn <laughs> no, 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 it down. No, no, no. no? no. Well, no if you said, "Hey, you have a nice dick," and then I keep bringing, "Hey, I gotta go talk to my boyfriend." Like this one's a classic way to turn people down. And it's a good like, indirect okay, way like, to do I it. I understand that we live like in a very left-leaning society and all that shit. But if you are talking to somebody, like, and they're calling you to wake you up, and you're talking to them before and after stream for months, and like their their relationship doesn't even sound real, but they have a boyfriend. That sounds like dating to me almost. That's like an e-girlfriend or e-boyfriend. I, I have you know, friends like that, that all is. the time. What do you, you mean? I talk to I call. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. wait. I, I've done this with Demon Mom. I've done this with a lot of people. What do you mean, Destiny? Demon Mom calls you to wake you up in the Not morning. Not call me wake call me up. I've had friends. I've had friends call me wake me up in the morning. Yeah, I've had my friends do that before. What do you mean? Okay, let's let's. My alarm's broken on my phone. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna come around. I don't know how an alarm. What? How? What? I'm gonna be broken on a phone. I don't even know what that means, okay? But let's run around the corner to the back of the building, okay? Let's see if we can- <gasps> Demon Mama, Dylan, it's time- it's 9 a.m. time for your dick flattening. Yeah, no. And look from the back of the building. Do you understand how somebody might be a little bit confused if they are talking to somebody before on stream and giving them wake-up calls for months and being flirty with them and they're still engaged in that behavior? You don't see how that might be a little bit confusing to somebody? The thing is, I could see maybe out, I could see a situation where someone gets wake-up calls or once does a wake-up call and that one instant- Wait, maybe... it wasn't just once. Well, how many times was it? Well, I don't know, ask Katarina. Katarina, how many times did you ask Prime to give you wake-up calls? You'll go look? There we go. She'll go look right now. There we go. Had to adjust my work balance. It, so Destiny, I'm honestly surprised. I, I don't know how you're taking this position. This is fucking wild to me. It, well, because what it looks to me is like... In
Uh, I will in a second. Incredibly one. obvious. So, from my macro perspective, and by the way, I like you more than Franz, okay? So I'm not even, like, I don't have, like, a dog in the race. Um, well, if I did have a dog in the race, you would be my dog in the race. Not, like, an oh, actual dog. Mm-hmm. Like, you tried to make me when somebody asked for cute pets, by the way, which was dehumanizing me as a non-binary person. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But, like, so, again. from the macro perspective, what it looks like is Katarina and Prime were probably mutually flirtatious for quite a while, at some point in time, and then Katarina probably either lost interest or she has a boyfriend, and obviously she didn't do that. Well, okay. Shit like that is why I thought Destiny was memeing about being non-binary in that video that I put out initially at the beginning of the video before people told me Destiny actually was. Because Destiny would do that a lot and, and like, make being non-binary into a meme. So I, I just thought, okay, so he's memeing about being non-binary, but then someone told me, like, Melina confirmed it was legit, and I was like, oh, okay, then he's actually non-binary. But yeah, he does that a lot, and that made me think that it was, like, that he was doing a transphobic meme. Or she just gave off a lot of confusing signals, and at some point kind of toned it back a bit. Prime Case either didn't pick up on this, or did, and we don't have all the DMs, so it's hard to see. And then, at some point, Katarina decides that she doesn't want to be Prime anymore, she leaves, and then, boom, we torpedo the Prime show. Um, we're friends with Dylan. Wait, do you guys have, like, a romantic relationship or anything? Is that... Uh, at the moment, no. Wait, what does that mean? I mean, maybe it'll be unromantic later. What does that mean? What do you mean? Wait, wait. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, hold on. I, I'm, okay, we'll put all that aside again. Okay. Wait, 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 why would that matter okay. anyway? Because there's, like, wait, 27 different conflicts of interest here. 27 different... Wait, wait, wait. Conflicts of interest is one thing. Like, if Russia Today published a piece, like, here's evidence that the CIA, like, slaughtered, like, a bunch of people. And then, like, there's, like, here's all this evidence, here's witness testimony, all this. You can be like, well, Russia Today, I mean, they have conflicts of interest. But at the end of the day, if the evidence is clear, the evidence is clear. It, but the problem is there's no evidence, Dylan. Dude, wait, how many message. witnesses would I need to bring in of him admitting this for that to, like, be good? Because the, I can get another one problem, on top of Samantha. The problem is Samantha that, first retracted. of all, Samantha also is highly motivated as somebody that tries to be, like, the Twitch political masterminds behind the scenes. Trust me, I know a lot about all these games, okay? I talk to a lot of people. Also, you might be able to bring in a lot of people. I can bring in a lot of people, too. You know that there are a lot of people that are standing on the other side of this with more credibility than probably Samantha and her friends, yeah? So, like, Ooh, don't act possibly. like just, I'm not going to start dropping names, okay? Course, but I'm okay. just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay, that there are a lot of people that know that these two individuals were talking for a long time and that it was probably mutually flirtatious. And for you to come out and drop this type of nuke to try to destroy, like, his to whole destroy. fucking career and shit. Yeah. Why? Well, can I ask you, like, legitimately, like, motivation wise? No, don't act coy. Come on. The goal in putting out this was, is definitely to destroy Prime's career. Like, that's the, that's the goal in putting out allegations like that. When you make allegations like this, True or false, it's a weapon to destroy someone so that they cannot continue. If it's if they're false allegations, it's to destroy their career because you don't like them. If they're true allegations, it's to, destroy, it's to destroy their career so they don't have the power to victimize others. Putting out allegations like this is a weapon with a desired outcome that for a desired purpose. That That's the point of allegations like this. Never, if you act like putting out allegations against a large figure like this isn't the goal, isn't to take away their platform, then you're really full of it because that is the goal. It's whether or not that is a reasonable and valid goal that is up for debate, right? That's not necessarily true. No, don't act like when you put out allegations like this, you don't know that it could be career ending. What would be my motivation behind destroying his show? Genuinely. Okay. The idea is they, they have a panel <laughs> show, right? That's the idea. I mean, there's, I'm not gonna. I mean, it's, this is very obvious. Well, no, obvious. no, tell, then tell me. It. Say it if it's obvious. You feel the Well, the obvious thing is you're knocking. Well, um, does Samantha still do shows for Prime Days or no? Uh, uh, she did, but not anymore. Oh shit! I would have to spitball. I really don't know. I have to think about this. Oh, so, like, yeah. if I had to guess, so Samantha's trying to work more behind the scenes. She's not working with Prime Days as much. Samantha is like super. I don't know how much people see behind the scenes, but so Samantha's been trying to like consolidate power from like all of the different like panel shows and be uh-huh. the producer and everything, uh, which I respect. I respect the hustle. She's even like modding for Lauren Southern. She, that was really funny. Um, I respect the hustle. She's got that Twitch politics chat growing on Discord. Uh-huh. I respect the hustle. Um, so she's no longer working with Prime Days. I think she works with you, right? Um, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, so she has the ability to jump ship, um, come with you, bring over Katarina for Prime shows. She's not working with Prime, so she has a huge incentive to do Prime shows. Katarina, not really friends with them, and works with you. She has an incentive to see Prime show go. You host a, a competing panel show. You have an incentive to see Prime show. show. And potentially a future relationship with Katarina, and she's like, Prime, so you have another like motivation there. There's like all this motivation. Okay, so okay, can, I, can I address these like, one at a time? Up. All of this, yeah, of course, sure. a lot of it's speculation about motivations, this or that or that. There's nothing hard about like, here's let's do the scheme to like sync Prime, right? That's not a thing that's going on here. We don't have anything of that sort. It's more like, I mean, like, what took down this. Let me make it. Let me make it a hypothetical. It's a bit more. That's like comparable. That might get this across a little better. Imagine if my girlfriend made sexual harassment allegations against Vosh, and they got really big, and they were on Twitter and everything. And then I went on stream, and I was backing her up. Do you think maybe there could be a bit of a conflict in interest there because me and Vosh are, and I'll admit this any day, competitors? Because we are. I'm not gonna play coy and say me and Vosh aren't competitors. We are. If he streams at the same time as me, my viewership fucking drops. We compete for the same viewers. We compete for the same audience. We compete for the same donations. If something like that happened and people weren't um, 
I, I would be... I would totally bite the bullet in a situation like that. This is a complete hypothetical, by the way. Vosh is a chill dude, all right? Um, like, to try to deny that, like, for example, me and Vosh are competitors would be extremely dishonest. Um, Xander Hall, don't worry, you're not alone. Lol, many other people also thought that Prime would have been fucked without someone jumping in. What's this? Like a leather worker, like a like a leather worker, and he's like making a leather purse or something. Two like hours ago, this craft, um, and you're just looking at the person working with leather, and you're like, wow, like I know this is why you do what you do. Like you're like a craftsman. Like that's how I felt watching that. I was like, I was like, holy shit, this is why this is why Destiny's got like this is why Destiny's a famous streamer, right? This is why he's created this whole world. Like this is him at his best, you know. Um, not to say that, is he a leather day? Not to say I agreed with all of his arguments, but I think, like, he kind of went in and saved Prime there. For sure. You know when you see, like... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, Destiny, Destiny, I think, um, 100% saved Prime's career. Um, it's, it's undebatable. Destiny saved Prime's career. Um, Prime has, like, 900 viewers right now. He's, Prime is live right now with, like, 950 viewers last I checked. He may be over 1,000 now. I'm pretty sure he was like a 100 viewer Andy or something prior to this drama. Um, ironically enough, maybe not in the long term, but at least in the short term following this drama, um, Prime's probably going to come out of it doing better than he did before. Um, yeah, Destiny saved the fuck out of Prime's career. Second Tower, right? But if we're going to go down these one by one, the idea that I have an incentive to nuke Prime show, Prime show doesn't compete oh, with mine. Like, wait, legitimately, wait, no, it doesn't. Hold on, hold on. He specifically. None of this, wait, wait, wait. None of this is important to anyone. You just asked me to, like, speculate. I, can spec I, wouldn't, I wouldn't stake any of my reputation on any of that, but none of that's relevant to what I'm saying. So, wait, wait, you said you're not going to stake your reputation on any of these claims. You're just wild speculation, then. You'll admit to that. You asked me for speculation, and I gave you speculation. Okay, so you, you missed wild speculation. Why do you think you do this? I, but that's not relevant to anything. Okay, but can I not? Well, I can still. I still want to talk about the speculation. We just said about why I think that doesn't make sense to me. Well, yeah, you can do that. And you can I do it then, please? Yeah, sure. I'm just saying that you can't say that your speculation is well when you ask me to wildly speculate. I don't know what the motivations for you guys are behind this. I don't know. I'm not friends with any of you in particular enough to know that. So I don't know. I'm just you told me to guess. I even I even started with well, I don't really know. I haven't thought about it, and I could guess. Okay. But yeah, none of this is like none of this is relevant. I'm just interested because it just feels so well. But the first thing is like he specifically doesn't stream his his panels at the same time as mine because he knows mine is bigger. He specifically will start once Hippy Dippy's over, right? Hans has done a similar thing. He moves his show from Fridays when I was in the hospital to Saturdays, specifically not to be with my show because my show's bigger, it brings views away from us. He does things on Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's the definition of competition. If there's a bigger show that you have to reschedule your show not to compete for viewers at the same time, that is the definition of competition. How are you going to tell me it's not competition when a Walmart moves into a small town and that small business has to pack up their shit and move to the other side of town so that they're not competing for the same, like, area of the town? That's the definition of competition. That's the de definition of conflict of interest, dude. Yeah, Dylan's whole defense to this is lol prime who? I'm way bigger. Who cares about him? Which seems like a deflection. Yeah, that, like... Yeah. Listen, I will admit any day of the week, me and Vosh are competition. Absolutely. Please skip forward. Where to? Like, uh, here, maybe? Well, I don't know where to skip to, but we'll, we'll, we'll jump around. She fucking hates me now. So, uh, no, I don't think so. And I think I have a good relationship with, with like, Katarina and with you. The only issue that I have right now is that, like, Prime looks like he's getting, like, nuked from orbit. But what looked to be, at one point, a two-way, like, mutually flirtatious relationship that turned into Katarina, like, manipulating him for, like, manipulating. one show. And then, manipulating? She, admitted in her, she says it in her own twin longer, dude. What, she thought she manipulated him? Yes. Where? Where does she say that? She says, on my end, it was always an internal struggle to decide whether I got to keep my dignity in the situation and express my discomfort or suck it up and grow as a streamer through him giving me a platform. So it sounds like she might have been able to say, like, hey, this makes it a little uncomfortable, but she decided to, what, keep playing him to get wait, a spot wait, on no, the show? No, 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 that, that, that means that she wouldn't speak like out that. against it or be like, ah, uh, stop, please, please stop, I don't like this, you're really fucking creepy, because she, she gets up that position of power, the power imbalance. She didn't even work for him yet. Because that's the like massive let me, platform. Let me, let me, no, let me read this, okay? On my end, it was, always, viewer streamer. it was always Destiny's an internal right struggle here. to decide whether... Yeah, th a lot of these conversations happened before uh, Des like uh, Prime and Katarina were working together, and um, like officially to any degree. Definitely before Prime had paid or anything, because a lot of this was back in April, and Prime paid her the first time in June. Um, and ba at that point, they were just really close friends. Clearly, like fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like shit. Also politically provoked too. I assume you're. I assume like something happened, and you had to make a new account. Um, I can change the name if you're the same. I, I can look on the website and see if you're the same, and I can give you, like, the... After this segment, I'll give you, like, the special name color and stuff. I got to keep my dignity in the situation, I'd express my discomfort, or suck it up and grow as a streamer through him giving me a platform. This incentive only increased when I started to produce for him, and I was paid for my work. So there was an incentive. She's in, talking and pointing at the incentive right there. 
So you're saying that she has a guy that it, let's just like, we'll just put this out of, I won't even load this. By her own admission, there is a guy that is hardcore flirtatious with her. And then she decides to start working for him, like to grow her career instead of telling him that she's uncomfortable with what's going on. Like by her own admission. I, I, wait, 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 I can, wait, wait, wait. We can admit her. that it was maybe not, a, it was, it was not a smart move for her to work for the guy, but that doesn't prove that he didn't do what he did. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about it. Not, still I'm not talking about it being. I'm not talking about it being not a smart What I'm saying is that what she's doing here is manipulation, right? She's saying that she is not going to express her discomfort in order to get a job on the show. That is manipulation. You understand that, right? Wait. So what you're saying is that if somebody is going, if, if there's a, if there is this thing where this streamer is bigger and has a larger platform, and he's acting in a manner for somebody that's that's kind of off, like how you're gorgeous, you're this, you're that, or any of these DMs towards a smaller streamer who wants to go onto that platform. So it was manipulation by the smaller streamer to put up with it in order to go on the show. So then, would you say? Be, that, yeah. wait, wait, then would you say that anybody who puts up with say workplace sexual harassment is manipulating their boss? It depends on the, if there's a working relationship or not. Let's say, for they're, instance, they're, hypothetically, they're, let, let, if we want to make this comparable, I bet Destiny is going to make the same hypothetical I'm about to right now. I guarantee he's going to make the same hypothetical. If you want to make this comparable, the type of workplace sexual harassment the scenario you'd have to be describing is if like that you have two coworkers or like a manager and a and a, and a worker, right? And the manager is like flirting with the co-worker or with the worker and that worker who isn't interested kind of reciprocates a little bit and kind of plays with the flirtation a bit even though they're not really interested because they don't want to get fired that's not just putting up with it that's reciprocating it or not even don't want to get f uh, fired but wants a promotion like they're on the table for a promotion this is even more uh comparable because i do not think that prime would have like destroyed katarana if she said, I'm really not interested, like, I don't, it doesn't seem like there'd be any reasonable, like, interpretation of that might happen. It's more like the employee is on, like, on their way to get, like, a, uh, a promotion. And so that employee reciprocates, somewhat reciprocates and kind of leads on that manager and their flirtation because they want to get that, um... Uh, promotion. That's how it feels to me. Wait, hold on. Let's say that Pokemon messages me, okay? And she's like, oh, Destiny, you're super cool. Do you want to go out for drinks? And I'm like, okay, yeah, fuck it. Let's say we go out for drinks. Now, she's got a way bigger platform than mine. Now, I hate her. I don't like her. I, I just, I hate child-friendly streams or whatever. I don't like Pokemon. But we go out, she's super flirtatious towards me. And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, whatever. And then eventually, she's like, hey, do you want to come on my streams? And I'm like, oh, I fucking hate her. But, oh my god, this is a really good career move for me. Ah, fuck it, let's go on. And let's say that I go on her streams. And then let's say six months later, I'm like, Pokemon sexually or Pokemon harassed me all this time. It was bullshit. I wasn't comfortable the whole time. And I had to balance out. Can I really tell her that I wasn't comfortable? No way. There wait, was wait, wait, but we have people. In any world, That's in not any the world, scenario, in, any, in any world, what is this not just textbook manipulation? And keep in mind, I'm using her own words. But there's so people going, she's, we have that. DMs from months, months ago, yep. unless you think this was planned five months in advance, from other people, her going to them, talking about this, and messaging Samantha. And those people have since retracted, oh, the, the fact that Samantha retracted their condemnation of Prime, really fucking, okay. He, this is completely, like, hearsay. The only scenario, I think, where, like, the Samantha thing wouldn't be good evidence in favor of Prime is if Samantha saw... If, if Samantha really is this, like, political mastermind behind the scenes who's trying to, like, you know, be friends with everybody and really just gain the most from everything, probably, like, if, if it came down to a situation where Samantha had to choose between taking Dylan's side and taking Destiny's side... Samantha does have more to gain from taking Destiny's side, for sure. For fucking sure. Like, yeah. Samantha's quitting the panel, so even that isn't a good motivation now? Well, there you go, Kyanist. Seems like Samantha realized that um, Prime isn't this evil, horrible person, and uh, decided to speak out and say, actually, no, um, I'm not... Uh, uh, I actually take back the condemnation that I made before. That Samantha and goes and talks to Prime to be like, hey, stop this. Key question. When Samantha went to Prime and told him about it, that Katarina was being harassed, was Prime's name censored in those messages and he didn't know it was actually about him? Um, I'd have to go and ask. Wait, say that again? Because that's like, what which Prime message tweeted. was censored? Prime said that when Samantha approached him, that Katarina was being harassed, that Samantha had edited... Xander Hall, I don't think her keeping quiet about her discomfort can be considered manipulation. Like, that sounds exactly like a person accepting unwanted flirtatious advances because they value their career. So, the reason why I think... I think manipulation's a strong word, but I think it's somewhat um, applicable. And the reason why I think that um, uh, Destiny's got somewhat of a point here is because Katarina didn't just ignore it and just not speak out against him because she wanted to keep her job. It's not how it came off to me. 
uh, especially because Katarina was even working for Prime up until a couple months ago, and this has been going on for like half a year at least. Um, the reason is because we looked over the messages. We've literally been doing this. I've been recording for two hours and 34 minutes. We have been going in and like reading. We've already read all of the evidence. We've read all the screenshots. We've seen all of the evidence. We are now watching th this debate. We've already seen all of the evidence. I know everything that's out so far. If anything else comes out, I can, I'll, I'll go, I'll fucking amend my position. I'll take down this segment as I'm recording it and I'll do a whole new segment going over the evidence if more comes out. But I've seen all the evidence as it's come out now. Her message, there, at no point did I see a, I am not interested in, I not, at no point did I see a firm, solid no. The closest to that we got, the closest to a, to a rejection that Prime got was, you wouldn't want to date me because of, uh, because I live far away. It was maybe in the future, you wouldn't want to date me now though, because my life is kind of fucked up and, um... I live far away, saying that is not a definitive no. In no universe is that a definitive no. I'm sorry. That's just not a rejection. It's just not. That's a stick around for a while and we'll see, which is not a rejection. I'm sorry. Yeah, but we haven't seen the uh, other evidence of people being treated weirdly by Prime Hunger Master. No one else has come forward. If they do, like I said, we'll go over that as well. And um, uh, uh, as for like the commenting on her boobs and butt and stuff like that, uh, that she claimed that was all in calls, and there's no evidence of that. And like, we can't take something at face value without any evidence, right? It, it sucks, but like, what would have to be done for us to be able to take complete hearsay? At, at face value and believe it would have to be if every single other accusation she made that she provided evidence for hadn't been debunked and her other accusations really aren't holding up well after prime stream showing those extra screenshots like it, it just yeah he admitted to the boobs and butt comments the problem with that is that we don't know if that was unrequited though because we've seen the other everything else that she claimed was like completely un unlike wanted in those screenshots, she wasn't being definitive about how she wasn't into it. We've already talked about it. Like it's very possible the same type of shit was happening in those five hour calls that she was initiating, where she claims this happened, where maybe she was being like, "Oh, thank you," or just like, "Yeah, I don't know." It's really hard to take, like, a stance on stuff that there is no evidence for, that we can't see what actually happened, you know? They did Prime's name out of those DMs, or didn't tell Prime that it was about him, and he had no idea that it was originally about him. Mm -hmm. Is that the case? Or did Prime know this whole time? Because what Also, hot take, all right? I think women need to start engaging more with dudes they're interested in, okay? Whether it just be for a hookup or for a full-on relationship, I fucking wish that women were more open about it, okay? I've done hookups with one person like like non in a relationship hookups with one person and that and, and the girl that i had those hookups with was like up front was like yo want to smash and i was like sure and and that that's how that's how i want it to be okay women you got you can walk up to 99.9% .9 of dudes you're interested in and say yo you want to smash and that dude will probably say yes okay assuming you know, they're not in a relationship and they're not, yeah, like, yeah, like, come on. Come, women need to be more on top of that shit, okay? I initiate that shit, because, you know, yeah. It's obviously not an excuse for sexual harassment, but it would be nice if women became a little bit more, um, a little bit more brazen. Because, like, I promise you, if you're a girl and you're, um, and, and you're interested in a dude, I promise you that dude, if he's interested in you, it would be fucking delighted if you if you initiated, like the flirtation or the um the like upfront sexual stuff. Like I promise you. What you're saying right now, by the way, ends the whole conversation. If what you're saying is correct, then everything you then everything you said so far is vindicated, and you're actually right. Prime should then have absolutely stop. Then 100%. So you should ask. Let's yeah, you should ask that. That. Sure, because this was my original question: was did somebody tell Prime, hey, you need to stop this right now? I have the answer. Yeah, okay, that's all I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. Okay. You have those. Why not just show them? That's because all I'm asking. Because they had a ton of DMs to show. It was almost, I'm already missing my podcast. It was two hours, but I can send this to But this to is you. literally, this is the only DM that matters. It's showing that somebody told him to stop. And him not stopping. That's it. That's the only thing that matters.
Because what Prime said was, Samantha did, did not reach out to me to say Kat was uncomfortable. Samantha only sent me screenshots of Kat saying that a streamer was bothering her. Make it safer for women to do that, and they will? Wait. How How is it... How is it um unsafe for women to be more upfront about their interest in a dude? What? Like, don't get me wrong. A lot of situations are pretty dangerous for women, but like... When we're talk, I'm, I'm talking about like women being more upfront, like and initiating it rather than guys being expected to initiate it. Like, yeah. Also, I don't think at any point in this drama, Katarana was ever unsafe. Also, Xander Hall, I feel that Kat uh, would have just said so it, um, if the comments about sexual attraction to each other's bodies was reciprocated over the phone. They probably weren't being uh, reciprocated by Kat. Yeah, but I feel like. If the conversations went anything over the phone, which we can never know because they were never recorded from our understanding so far. If they were recorded, we'd know. If though, if those interactions happen anything like the stuff that happened in DMs, then once again, I'd still say that um, Prime had a reasonable expectation that the, that these um, comments weren't entirely unwanted. I thought Samantha was reaching out so that I could be a friend of Katarina. I had no idea that it was a reference to me. That's what Prime said. Now, maybe Prime is lying. He could be. Okay, I'm waiting for the DMs to come. Okay. <sighs> How's the Netherlands? That's great. Oh my goodness. Oh, you, my goodness? <clears throat> so, do you think, and I'm just curious, and you can, you know, we're, we're just going back and forth. Uh -huh. But when I show you, so like, when I show you stuff like this, and you see like, Katarina started a call that lasted for three hours, lasted for four hours, lasted for three hours, lasted for six that hours. That doesn't bother me, man. Hours. It really fucking You think doesn't. that that is a... Dude, it, it takes... She, dude, you can be cordial with people and have long fucking phone calls. That's perfectly but fine. But they're not cordial. She says that he is hitting on her. Yeah, but you have to be cordial to have a business relationship. That they you're booking five yet. shows. You're booking five yet. shows a week. Do you know how many people you have to book for five shows a week? Five shows? Eight on each show? So, so you think that... So on the sixth, they talk for three hours. On the seventh, they talk for three hours. On the eighth, they talk for six hours. On the ninth, for th you think this is all just booking for the show? I mean, this I'm is sure like they had a casual conversation is, during that as well. This is like 20 hours of calls over like three days. And you Man's got a point. Destiny's got a pretty damn good point there. I got to admit. You got to admit that's a pretty fucking good point there. That's a pretty damn po good point. Like, yeah, that's... that's. Why are long calls flirty? I feel like if you're in a... If you are e friends with someone who lives on the other side of like the world from you or whatever, or just like very far at least, like that, I think they at least they've said multiple times very long distance, like they're at least on the other side, opposite sides of the country, right? Um, like, and you're not interested in a person and you don't want to be engaging um, in like these long calls, and like the, the like you're really not comfortable with this person, you will probably not voluntarily. One, initiate four-hour phone calls and six-hour phone calls and eight. And apparently there were some that were like 12 hours long. You wouldn't be initiating or sticking around for those. Like, like they, you would have to be like fucking... Listen, when I'm in a call with someone and I don't want to be in a call with them any longer, I get I find a reason to get out of there, dude. I would... Like, I don't know. Like, she could have easily, if she just didn't want to hurt his feelings or didn't want to make it clear and was uncomfortable with him, could have said, oh, I'm sorry, I got to do something, I got to go. And it, these could have been 12 to 30 minute phone uh, calls, which would have been a lot less sus. Hey, uh, guys, can you guys stop arguing with Politically Provoked? I think it's Brittany, I think, behind the Politically Provoked account. Can you guys stop arguing? All right, I'm not banning Politically Provoked. Um, they're uh, content creators. They're not breaking my rules in my chat you guys are just arguing or yeah yeah we're not we're not banning okay um destiny has a point but we don't need to hear him make it 25 more times Xander hall skip forward how far should i skip to like here how about here i came on specifically to talk about how much work it takes to book panel shows um i spend at least this? two to three hours of my life every night for over a year booking these things it's mm -hmm. not something GGX? you do in 10 minutes just send a dm and it's done <clears throat> it, it it takes hours and hours and hours mm -hmm. uh, okay Dan, as many you, shows yeah, as for sure so can you send me can you show me multiple screenshots of you talking to a single person for two to three hours to book these shows no i can't i can't that's do that. exactly what i thought okay do you know what, know what do you know why i can't do that destiny because most of my time was spent talking to mr geek and mr geek mm -hmm. was live streaming so i wasn't on a discord call with him i was talking mm -hmm. to him on stream so maybe yeah, you can go through all of his bars and go for hours and hours and hours of me and geek talking but yeah, that, that was a thing. I, I believe that because it wasn't just booking the show. You were also probably shooting. Skip further. 
They were in Prime's room that he started. How would they my people? How do you even have access to that room? Because one of them were close. Uh, one, of them, one of them, one of them. But then the okay. second person, Dylan, so I manipulated his whole inner circle. Dude, it's not like about manipulating the circle. Dylan, 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 so wild, man. Dylan, no, Dylan, stop calling through. I'm in, all the, I'm in a lot of these group chats. I'm in a lot of these Discord. Not also, in regards to her having to explicitly say, stop sending me these messages in the context of Prime flirting with her, I hard disagree. I think that if the flirtiness isn't being reciprocated, then the other person needs to stop sending those messages. If you are, if there are screenshots that show Kat saying stuff like, I want to kiss you, hee hee, or you're sexy, then um, I can see how Kat was being misleading. But there is no evidence of flirting on Kat's part. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that I had so, like, people in my chat that didn't that don't understand social interactions this degree okay maybe maybe it's ableist or something but like if i see somebody if i see when i saw those screenshots of prime being flirty and then katarana responding saying ooh woo and nya 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 and then spamming lines of her emotes and then like not saying stop that but instead replying with nya nya ooh woo which were in some of the screenshots that comes off as, to me, at the very least, maybe not as reciprocation of flirting. I may not even go that far, but certainly not something that the that Prime should have viewed as, okay, maybe this isn't being reciprocated, I should stop. That is not how I would ex how would I, I would ever expect any dude who sees that response to to their flirting to um to, to think seeing those messages. If I'm flirting with a girl and she responds with some nya nya ooh woo shit, literally, I'm viewing that as some level of reciprocation especially when there's been prior conversations talking about having a relationship and the only reason brought up for why you're not dating is long distance and maybe we can date in the future i'm sorry but that doesn't come off to me as saying no and you you, well, apparently well you know what i don't think prime has ever yeah. said these things towards you i don't think you were in the war room i don't think you were in the call Dylan, I've been getting screenshots of all this shit from so many different of you motherfuckers. I talked to so many of you guys about this, and it's fucking hilarious, like, how, like, behind the scenes you guys are all fucking with each other constantly. Man, dude, ever since the Samantha and the politically provoked shit, there's so much shit that goes around. You guys are insane. So well, you can well, sit here well, in public. You're saying that, but you're not giving examples. Like, I can just say, Destiny, like, you your, your evil schemes behind the round, the work with the government of George Bush is so evident. Mm -hmm. I get messages message from everybody. You can just say that. Like, yeah, you're saying words, right? But where, where's where's Dylan, the evidence of my schemes? Dylan, I see my schemes. You know that I can't. You, Dylan, if, do you think you could find a single person on Twitch that you could bring out and say, "Oh, Destiny, he's a schemer." <laughs> if I have problems with people, I just no. Say what it. I'm okay. just well, the point I'm trying to prove is you're saying something right now. You're just saying like all of you guys uh, act in fucking crazy ways, mysterious ways. So something like this could be going on. Like I need to see like, th is there any like trail right. behavior? To be fair, Destiny did scheme against Vosh. That when he li he lied to my face that one time about how he told his fans to like if they find any um weaknesses in Vosh's website to like exploit them and try to DDoS his website. That was um he like when we were debating he lied to my face about that and that was pretty fucked. He he, he did a little bit of schemery there. That was a bit of schemes to me, but I will say most of the time Destiny is a very blunt and upfront when he doesn't like people. He's usually not the little fucking what's his name from Game of Thrones? Um um Lord Baelish. He's not like Lord Baelish behind the scenes, you know, uh, planning everything out, trying to find his the best way to manipulate every situation. To, like, he'll just... Littlefinger wasn't... Li listen, all right? Destiny isn't, isn't like a Littlefinger fi type dude, okay? He's he's going in and he he screams at people he doesn't like. He he He's not quiet about disliking people. He doesn't keep his dislike for people, like, under the surface and, and fucking scheme to try to destroy them like in the shadows um yeah sure with demon mama i guess he like he, he lies about why he dislikes her i suppose and and yeah but for the most part he's pretty upfront about who he dislikes he doesn't like keep his hate for someone like down under the surface and like plan out how he's going to destroy them right most of the people, who do you think I'm giving you evidence from? Of like the people that are saying they like produce these shows, that they've been on these panels. Yeah, and, and there's other like, people coming in saying they produce these panels, like Danibo right here, saying like, wait, 100% we have these calls. Yeah, Destiny's more like Tyrion. Same hair and short, and they they act pretty similarly. Although I think Tyrion's quite a bit nicer. Um, I think I, I would I would probably want to have a beer with Tyrion before I'd have a beer with Destiny. Yeah, yeah. Danibo was in here literally saying he's not on Team Dylan. He retweeted you three hours ago. Danibo was literally in here. Wait, wait, wait. Like, he can, oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, Danibo, oh my. On, Danibo was literally in here saying she's like, oh, I just tired of women's harassment on Twitch. This guy literally harassed fucking aristocracy for having a fucking VTuber thing for like weeks. I remember this shit. Like, he, like what do you mean? Like, Danibo, what are you talking about? Games, I have no idea what he's talking about. Oh, and they're both What are you talking about? The VTuber? All of you guys are friends. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. What is a VTuber? You just brought up something. You gotta explain what that means. VTuber? What? 
Danipo literally harassed fucking Eris for a long time because she, she has these logs this day. This is a wild yeah, accusation. Yeah, 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 listen, listen. You, you guys can all go look up your all, all your random. You just go look it up. Let's do it. Okay. You can okay. just make an accusation. This is a very wild up. accusation, Destiny. Come you, on. Hey, listen. Like you can go settle all that. Listen. All I'm saying is, don't come out here and pretend that like there are no signs. You guys are so incestuous. All of this shit is insane. How much behind the scenes shit? I don't you can talk to, you're talking to do, Destiny. You, you can, you can, you can talk to literally any of the fucking right. people. You can bring out anybody from New York, or actually, if you want to bring in like a neutral third party, Hans would be a funny guy to talk to. I trust that guy. I don't I'll bring Hans. That De Destiny is right. There is a lot of really, there's a lot of shit that goes on behind the scenes in like these communities. I've seen little glimpses of it. Um, and I won't say anything like definitively because nothing's like it's nothing super serious, but like there are there is like a lot of like stuff that happens behind the scenes between these creators. I want to make it very clear. It is very high school drama tier, the kind of stuff that goes on behind the scenes with like this side of like YouTube and Twitch and BreadTube and all that kind of stuff. There's just a you guys don't know about it because you guys aren't like super close to any of these people. And I'm not even particularly close to these people, but I've seen enough that I know like there's a lot of shit that goes on behind the scenes with this stuff. It it bubbles to the surface sometimes and people find out about it, but yeah. Vosh and Shu, no. No, I, as far as I'm aware, Vosh and Shu are not, uh, nothing is going on between them. Um, it, it's nothing big like that. It's just small shit, you know? Lonnie, don't worry. We're gonna get you a streaming setup so you can be a Twitch streamer as well and you can do politics. Don't you worry. I'm gonna, whenever I, uh, Whenever I get a chance, okay? I'm going to get... Uh, would you guys watch Lonnie's live streams on Twitch if I got her a streaming setup? Would you guys be down for that? Right so, now. I'll bring him in right now. Let's yeah. Do it. Sure. Okay. If you want to bring him Hans. He's a funny dude. I'll bring that guy. He's a, he's a funny Monica, dude. Right? I like Hans. Hans Everybody likes on Hans. List. Is he on your friends list? Just add him. Bring in Hans right now. How is it possible to not, oh, not like Hans? Hans. I I'll fucking love that dude. You trust him, right? Oh, fuck. I don't visit Hans. I still think I can get good answers out of him, actually. No, I, I, trust, I trust myself, okay? Ooh, I'm being told Hans doesn't like Prime. He actually dropped from his shows. Oof. That's okay. I'm st I still, and now you're, I still uh, know okay. it. Beep, no, no, I don't regret it. I'm still confident because I know what happens in all this shit. So I, I actually, I'm 100% on board with it. Okay, let's bring him on. Hey, Hans. Okay, I'm adding him right now. Hans can be a bit too wholesome. Nah, Hans is genuinely wholesome. Hans doesn't do like the fake wholesome type shit that um, uh, who is it? Uh, Thought Slime does. Thought Slime does like this pseudo fake like wholesome fake like nice type thing. Hans is like from every every interaction I've had with him is like a genuinely nice wholesome dude. I like Hans a lot, and he's a Chad. He yeah, Hans is a fucking Chad. Uh, let's skip ahead a little bit because, or I guess this is where Hans gets. Wait, wait, wait. To be clear, if you read the twit longer, I, I was very specific, like like looking, I was like, okay, we should be really careful with the language we use when we say what happened. And we call it sexual harassment consistently through the twit longer and consistently through the Twitter post. We don't use the word predator. We don't use abuse. We don't use any other words. We specifically just use the word harassment because we didn't want to signify that it was anything more than what we thought it was. Now, there is the one post that was predator from months ago, but I asked her if it was appropriate, if that was appropriate word to use. She said, probably not. What do you think is the implication when you're making this type of accusation? That he was aggressively sexual. In a way. What you, what's so, another name for? Yeah, what's another name for an aggressively sexual guy abusing a position of power? I guess you could. What is so, the title of your stream right now, Dylan? Sexually harassed staff. Prime case sexually harassed staff. What happened? And who? What is another word for a sexual harasser? The predator, Dylan. Come on. Okay, so you think he's a predator? Got it. Win. W. Dylan, another one in the bank. Got him. <sighs> Let me be clear, Destiny. There's like literally no way in hell you're ever gonna move me off this position. Let me just be clear. I am. I'm 100% confident that this has happened. I, I'm not trying to debate somebody in the honeymoon phase. I'm just asking for a little bit. I'm just asking for a little bit of pumping the brakes on like throwing somebody under the bus. Oh, let me be clear. So I don't think that's, I don't think okay. Prime should be like like executed. I just I just think he acted extremely inappropriately, and he should stop acting extremely inappropriately. And no. There it is, dude. I think that's all we need to see. Actually, I think that's actually all we need to see, because we got Dylan to admit it. The goal in, in this, and I, I've said it a million times already this stream, the goal in putting accusations out like this um, is to discredit somebody, to destroy their career, and to give a particular impression into the general public on what um, kind of person the accusee is. Um, do, you, uh, do you agree that the Katarana person engaged in manipulation? Um, no. I actually I don't think that Katarana... Um, maliciously engaged in manipulation at all i don't think that katarana had like this this goal to like destroy prime and it was like this huge um evil thing what i think happened is um katarana and granted it's possible it's the case and I, I don't know um i think what probably happened at least from the the evidence that i've seen so far 
um, is that Katarana wasn't interested in Prime and did an extraordinarily bad job at explaining to him and making it clear to him that um, there was no chance of anything happening between them and that Prime needed to stop engaging in flirtatious behavior and just move on. Um, and I don't blame Prime, uh, and I don't necessarily blame Katarana, um, and I com but I do completely disagree with how this all came out. This should have never, ever become public. Um, nothing here at all should have ever gone public. All of this should have been dealt with in pi private. None of this is like career-ending shit. There was no reason to make it public. Does anyone here think there's any reason to make it public? The only outcome, the only thing that happens from making this public is it's supposed to harm Prime's career, and that's it. If you don't believe that Prime is like this crazy sexual predator who's dangerous to other people, there's no reason for this to ever have been public. That it was a it was a private mistake that happened that should have been talked out, that, uh, that, that should have been worked out all in private, then dealt with, and should never have seen the light of day. If, you f if there was evidence at all that um, Prime is this dangerous predator that needs to be stopped, and that's why it needs to be public— um, which is why you make accusations like this public. You destroy their career, deplatform them so they can't use their platform to harm others, then there's no reason to make it public. The fact that this ever went public is a fucking travesty. Dylan literally called him a sex pest to his face in DMs. That's all you need to know about his motivations. Yeah, that's... Whoo, that's pretty strong. That's pretty... Uh... Yeah, I mean, Dylan's definitely biased. Like, there's no argument you can make that there's not a conflict of interest here. Like, the fa Dylan's dating the accuser. And competes with the accusee. Whether he'll admit it or not, he competes with the accusee. Um, yeah. Just stop doing it before Wrong. it definitely is going to be hosting these fucking panels. And he needs a fucking 180 that shit. And I kind of don't believe his apology when he fucking started a war room. Do you know Do you know why I know you don't believe that? Why? Because if you thought that, you would have just DM'd him and talked about it. But you did. You made it public. Because he has a show where he's done this. This is important for people to know if they're going to be going on to his show or having a cordial relationship with the person. Mm -hmm. So that he hasn't been, goal, that he's been doing yeah, this. That's cool. That's great. So you just said two things. Initially, you said your goal was to try to make it so you would stop doing these things. But now you said your goal is to warn the best way. The best way to mm -hmm. stop somebody from doing something in this instance, definitely when it comes to stuff like this, is to make shit like this public. The war, uh, no, this is completely wrong. The war room thing is pretty sus, though. The war room thing was pretty cringy, but after seeing all the evidence that came out and seeing that one of the participants in that was one of the people who initially had taken the side of, um, uh, uh, of Katarana, but then after seeing more evidence, uh, retracted their condemnation of Prime, tells me that what this was was actually pretty similar to what happened to me when I got falsely accused of grooming, like, fans or whatever, where everybody else involved in the whole situation, we got into, like, a call and we dug up all the evidence to try and, um, combat the false narrative that was being spread about me. Um, like, me and, yeah, it was a cringe title for it, but, um, I mean, me, Lonnie, and everyone else involved in that drama did the same fucking thing. Um, it was, we were collecting all the evidence to debunk the false allegations that were made against me. And there was a lot of evidence, because, hey, guess what? None of the, none of the shit that I was accused of happened in calls. It all happened in text. So I had all the screenshots to debunk everything. All the screenshots were there. And so, like, I was able to collect all of those and release it, and now, like, nobody worth their salt on, in, in, on the internet believes those allegations now, um, which is very nice. It was nice. It's always, um, uh, it's always cool to be falsely accused and to, debunk, and to debunk all of the accusations and to come back from it just fine and all that. Um, but it was certainly a cringy name. It was a cringy name. But that, that alone is certainly not a condemnation, because if you feel you've been falsely accused of something like this that could ruin your career, yeah, I'd be pretty fucking pissed. And you know what? I might have even done what Prime did and make a server called something like, or the, <clears throat> a group chat um, called something like The War Room. The, for those who don't know, The War Room, I'm pretty sure it's a reference to, like, The War Room, where the president, like, plans out strategy. Or, like, where the generals and the president and everything, commander-in-chief, plan out strategy. Like, yeah. Yeah. You can't fight here. This is The War Room. 100%. Sure. So, do you understand then? Then you're. Like, well, let me ask you a question. Do you think Kevin Spacey has molested any more children since it was public what he did? Probably do not. That, do you think that this is a comparable? I don't think it's. I don't think it's comp I'm not saying these situations are comparable. Okay. But if you want to stop people from doing these types of things, you make this shit public. But why do you think? Why do you think that outing him publicly is not the same as just full on canceling him? You're not trying to get him to change his behavior. You're warning people to say we're going to be sharp. You're just trying to cancel him. You understand what you're doing? I mean, you can call it cancellation. Right. You can call it being held responsible. 
But I'm telling you that I don't think. So, if you, if, like, let me be, let me be clear. If he 180s this type of behavior, it goes forward. That I, then like I would welcome him back to Twitch with open arms. Okay. But, so no one cares. This matters nothing. Dylan's saying that he'll if 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 Prime changes beha his behavior, that'll welcome him back to Twitch with open arms means nothing. Once stuff like this comes out, if the narrative is uh, is strong enough, if the narrative Prime is a sexual harasser is enough, his career is ruined. It doesn't matter if he comes back and is welcomed with open arms by Dylan. It doesn't fucking matter if that narrative is pushed and and it does what the the if that allegation is successful in what it's trying to doing, it's a permanent career ender. It's a permanent career ender. Slazo. Fucking, like, do you think if Slazo... Well, maybe Sla He's big enough that I think if Slazo came back. But Slazo was falsely accused. Remember that? He's one of the... He was a very big YouTuber. He was falsely accused. And he went into fu the fucking dark, okay? I think he put out one video, like, last year that did okay. But, like, besides that, he's fucking gone. Pro Jared? Yeah, Pro Jared debunked most of the accusations made against him. I think all he did was just cheat on his wife, which, I mean... That's bad, but it doesn't make you a pedophile. Um, Pro Jared was falsely accused of being a pedophile, and he is not even close to where he is before all of that happened, right? Not even close to where he is before all that shit happened. This, from, from Dylan, means nothing. I don't know if he realizes it, but it means fucking nothing. Yeah, plus S Slazo was so demoralized by that drama, he decided to never come back. Like, yeah. Cancel, but like, like, it's like a demon word, but I don't care. Yeah, when I, so when I'm asking, let me just tell you what I'm doing. I'm asking these questions. When I ask you why you do something, you give me one answer. And when I prod for a little bit more information, you give me the second answer. What it tells me is you do Okay, Roman, I somewhat agree with you, but I have to add a caveat, okay? Because this is important. So Roman Medley in YouTube chat says, um, um, oh, wait. Technically, you're uh, biased, too, because you're a survivor of false canceling. That is true. I am perhaps a little bit more. Um, it's very hard to not be a um, it's very hard to be a victim of false accusations and to not maybe be a little bit more cautious when another creator gets somewhat similarly accused you know, you're, you're going to be careful and you're going to, to look at the evidence, right? However, um, Roman said another thing that I want to respond to that I think is definitely worth acknowledging right now. Um, I think this should be, um, I think this should open up a more clear conversation on what sexual harassment is, that it doesn't require malice or intent, and how often it happens. As much as I would like to see that, that's not going to happen, and I don't think it's a, a realistic expectation of this. Um, when you call someone a sexual harasser, that is what no matter, you may mean to just be saying this person sexually harassed somebody and they made a mistake and it's just a one-time thing. People will interpret that no matter what as this person is a predator. This person is a predator. This person is dangerous. And if you're, you know, a good person and that's what you're hearing, logically the conclusion of that would be this person should not be supported. They should be deplatformed and harassed off the internet and deprived of any relevance or attention. What is that even? Answer, what do you mean? What's the first or second answer? What's the difference between? Yeah, I can, yeah, I can, I can rerun this entire mini conversation. I asked you, why didn't you like? First, I asked you, like, why are you guys doing this? Okay, and you said because I wanted him. Did to you do this with Bosch though? I did, but I, I, we can go through the reason for why I thought I had to make that public if you want. I'll, I still defend that, right? Okay. So you said you the reason why I had to do it with Bosch, but it was interesting because he was a very like active public person in my community. I couldn't quietly remove him. I didn't have the opportunity to have a quiet conversation. And I have a founder's badge in the crimes community. <clears throat> sure, that's me. I don't. Actually, I disagree with with Destiny on that. The 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 allegations that Destiny released had happened years before the um that it all happened years before Destiny made it public, and there was no evidence whatsoever of Vosh engaging that behavior again. It feels to me like Destiny did that, like, de and Destiny was like laughing and and clearly enjoying releasing that and making it public. I've watched the live stream where Destiny like exposed Vosh with like the poppy logs. Destiny was cheering and smiling and laughing um, uh, as um, uh, uh, like as as he was showing those those logs. That wasn't like Destiny absolutely could have messaged Vosh and been like, yo, what the fuck was this? And they could have a private conversation that well, I'm, I'm gonna call a little bullshit on that. OK, like I've, I, I remember that drama. I was there for it. I, I was around. Yeah, this isn't a trial, it's an execution. He literally had, like, his one-liner there that he did. Like, yeah, it wasn't like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is that what you should have said initially was, my goal was to warn everybody else about him, not get him to change his behavior. You don't really care about that, that's not what your goal is. Well, so I, think, well, wait, wait, wait. I think it could be two-pronged. I think it could be both. Well, because the thing is, let's say I talk about him publicly, then I don't privately, then everybody isn't warned about him, right? 
What's the that? dog doing? Okay. Uh, I, well, does everybody need to be warned? Or can you well, tell wait, wait, wait. I, I didn't ask if everybody needed to be warned. I just asked yes, simply. Can I, well, can, can, I, I, can, I, can I finish can this point? Then we can move to Hans. So I just asked simply that if I was talking, if I do it privately, then nobody publicly mm -hmm. would be warned. That's pretty basic, right? You agree with that? Sure. Okay. okay. And if I did it publicly, then I wouldn't have done it privately, but that means people would have been warned, correct? Well, sure, but the... Well, Rutch Detter, we just talked about this, right? The reason for making allegations like this public... When you went to the reason why you make situations like this public is because you want to destroy a person's career and make it so they don't have the power to do that again. If if we're talking about logs that are like two or three years old and there's no evidence whatsoever and you have no reason to believe that they're still engaging in that behavior, then the only reason you would bring up those logs that are three years old, that situation that's three years old at that point, um, when there's no evidence that it's going to continue to happen or that has continued to happen, um, is because you want to fuck with somebody, you know? The goal okay, is so let me, let, me, let me finish, let me finish. I can see both achieved by doing it publicly. Because if you do it publicly, right, then they stop the behavior because they don't want to get into something like this again, and people are warned. Oh, done. Sure, I'm just saying that, like, sure, so you the way that you're handling it is to push for a cancellation. Well, no, I agree you're trying to cancel, that's fine, okay. But so, like, and again, we can swing back around to all of this. Do you think that it was mainly inappropriate that Prime was kind of pushing into this because she was an employee and she didn't have the ability to, like, I guess, actually tell him no if it wasn't something that she was interested in? Can you say that question again? I didn't understand it. <clears throat> Did Prime, being in a paying position of her, inhibit her ability to consent in this situation? You mean deny? Good content, consent. Kindness. Somebody can consent, but like, like that she wasn't able to tell him, hey, I'm not comfortable because she's getting paid. Like by physically him. capable, or like, like it's like just like be a capable on the internet, saying like, hey, I'm not comfortable with this. I think she could have done it, but I think that there's incentives not to. Okay, then what is that difference between your relationship with her now as an employer and a future potential dating partner if we play that game? The difference is something could be reciprocated there. But how would you know? You would You're... know. Wait. Oh no, Destiny's right. I literally, I can prove this right now. My The reason why, the person, guess who invited me? Guess who messaged me on Discord to bring me, um, hold it, guys, guys. Who do you want to guess invited me on Dylan's show this Friday? Who, who do you want to guess sent me the DM on Discord to invite me to Dylan's show this Friday? Katarana. She's the one that sent me that, uh, that sent me that, uh, the message. I think Katarana does booking for Dylan and they're dating and they're living together. Destiny's got a point. Why was it that when, even before, even after, once, uh, Katarana started working for Prime, why was it now inappropriate for Prime to flirt with her? Believing, clearly, that it was somewhat reciprocated. But now it's okay for Dylan and her to date. She's working for Dylan now and they're dating and living together. Only months after the stuff between Prime and her. Destiny's got a pretty fucking good point. Oh, because they reciprocate it. They tell you like, like some, like usually like, I think you're cute. I love, like those words are usually thrown back. Like if somebody says, I love you. Like if there's some bombshell that comes out where, where Katarana like posted like, I love you or something like that. But the amount, not, I would be shocked. And honestly, I would give Prime a full, full apology, a full one, number one. And number two, I would, all my trust in Katarana would evaporate immediately. And I, I would no longer even be roommates with, with, with her. She would have to move out. But I don't think that's going to happen. All I'm saying is that you've put yourself in the exact same position that you criticize Prime of being in. Do you understand that? Wait, because my, my criticism is easily, not even, my criticism is that there's incentive. Walk away. She could just as easily walk away and say, I didn't feel like I could tell Dylan no, I was pressured, I needed a place to live, I was pressured, I wanted to get paid. She could say all the same shit and you would have no defense. Well, okay, the difference would be, of course, that how this situation reacted. Like, if I got messages like, no, die, I'll be right that, back. Type stuff, that type of call, and then I'll give it to Hans, because Hans wanted to ask a question earlier, but he gets back. If, if that's the type of reaction I got if I was flirting with Katarana, right, if that happened, and I, that came back my way, I would look at that situation and be like, I think I probably shouldn't comment on her ass now, definitely since I painted. Like, this is yes, probably a really bad situation. Sure. And because I these situations are complicated. I don't think it's sure. as simple as like right. somebody sure. has a slight yeah, problem. I think the streamers can have no. all day to do anything. Yeah. I understand it. Yes. It's complex. Sure. I understand getting, that. We're getting more honest now. I agree with you. These situations are complicated. I'm glad we're at that point. The problem though is that you are in an even greater position. Not, position I mean, not the whole time. Because not only now are you paying her as a boss, I'm guessing, we're probably also paying her. I'm not paying Well, Dylan, aren't you're living together. Is she not? Are you not helping give her a place to live? Are you paying her rent? Is she like. She does your booking. I mean, I think, I mean, I could bring up, hold on. I mean, where, where is it? Scroll down. Yeah, here are my convert. I, I mean, these are literally like, I've never had a personal conversation with Katarana. So I think this is fine to show on stream, I think. 
Yeah, I believe this is completely fine to show on stream. Yeah, I, I, I think I can show this. This is fine. Yeah, here you go. Just, hey, would you like to come on the Hippy Dippy on Friday? This is after I got kicked by Dylan uh, from the Hippy Dippy uh, Championship. It's nothing personal, kid. Message from Dylan. Um, and then this was me being invited on saying, Pog, it's 5 p.m. my time, which is normally when I stream. And she said, indeed. And then that, that's basically it. Like, there's, I can scroll up, but the rest is literally just the same shit. Like, maybe... Like once every other week, just a message saying, "Yay, hey, you want to go on Dylan's thing?" I'd be like, "Okay, um, yeah." Clearly, warranting of a six-hour call. Yeah, that's true. Does this does this look like it required a six-hour call to hook up? I don't think so. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I gotta say, I'm leaning pretty hard on uh, Prime's side. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna outright say it. I. I think Prime's fine. I. I think. I. I think Prime's fine. I think this should have never gone public. Prime is fine. He doesn't deserve to have his career ruined over this. And it. This is bullshit drama. This is bullshit drama. This is bullshit drama. This is. I'd say actually like even less of a big deal than the false accusations against Chud Logic. Do you guys remember that? When Chud Logic got uh, falsely accused of grooming by a 30 year old and a girl who lied to Chud Logic about her age, a girl who I think was 17 and lied and said she was 21, like just outright lied to him, and, and a girl who was 30 who then came out later and accused Chud Logic, like that shit was fucking garb. That was bullshit. And, he, and I think this is even less of a big deal. Yeah. This should, have just never, this should have just never been public. This should have been worked out in private. Yeah, this really should have just been worked out in private. Painter. Are you paying the rent? Um, he's going to start next month. We'll see, okay. Do you understand that now you're in even a greater position of power than Prime Case was? And you have an online existence that she can benefit from. He's paying her rent. Through, like, you've put wait, yourself the, in, like, the greater position of, wait, wait, wait. Part of that greater position of power that you, you, you insinuated was the fact that they live together, right? But if somebody develops a relationship, naturally, nobody's like, hey, they're not flirting, they are flirting, and then they live to do the whole thing, move together by the lease, do the whole thing. That type of stuff happens after, usually, the, the development of a relationship. You would agree with that, right? It could, but the thing was is that Katarina developed a relationship with Prime way before they ever worked together. They were talking and flirting a ton, or at least he was flirting, and she wasn't telling him no at all, and she was still entertaining his flirtations and his calls by her own admission. She said, I never said no. Or I ne Have fun debating Vosh on this, Pepe Laugh. I fucking won a debate against Vosh a couple, like a couple weeks ago on the Chris Chan thing. Like, no, I think I think I could probably pretty successfully debate Vosh on this. Um, oh, tr no, I could. I could. I could. <sighs> I, I don't think Vosh would want to debate me on this. I, I don't think he would want to debate me. One, because I think he would mostly agree with me. And two, um, because I, I, I'm, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think my, I think he'd, he would either come out. I think he'd agree, come out of it agreeing with me, uh, even on stuff that he didn't come into it agreeing with me on. I, I, I do think so. Never expressed any discomfort I never said no. Is that the biggest thing for you that she never said no? Dylan, we're not that. talking about sex. We're talking about flirtation. Yeah, well, flirt when we talk about flirtation, the flirtation being talked about is nice ass, nice tits, right? That's pretty like direct stuff. That's it, and she's done a lot close. to get out of these situations. Like the DM showing that she, she literally took drugs at one point. And it's, what was it? What was it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's strange. She did everything she could to get out, except actually telling a single person or him that he made oh, her. Oh, challenge him again. I'll message him anesthesia. on Discord tonight. That's the word. Sorry. Just curious. When did she have her wisdom teeth removed? When did you have your wisdom teeth removed? But yeah, let, let me ask you a better question. Why? I assume you're asking enough to like know why she, she had oral anesthesia because she had her wisdom teeth taken out. She's not using it to get out of a call. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a question. Give me a question. Give me a question. Stop, 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 stop. So why did you no have? Dylan. Wait, why did you have the oral anesthesia? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm just asking. Fuck off. Why did you have it? She had a canker sore. Okay, Dylan. That you don't need to take an oral anesthesia to get out of a Discord call. Come on. Dude, wait. Are you Dylan? No, wait. Are you kidding me? Wait. Oh my god. Dude, I bite my lips sometimes. For those that don't know, I mean, usually, like, a canker sore, I think, is, it's like when you bite your lip or something, and it hurts. Like, and it's in your mouth, so it hurts when you talk and stuff. I do that sometimes, and I have an oral anesthetic. It's fucking oral gel. It's fucking oral gel. I put it on on stream sometimes, and I bite my lip or my tongue. You guys have seen me use it. That little tube of stuff I put on my tongue or my lip. I can't find it right now. You, it, it wears off in, like, 20 seconds basically you can still talk as soon as you put it in unless she was taken a fucking uh, syringe of lidocaine i don't feel like yeah no 
Yeah, plus I had my, uh, what's the reference to the local, um, what is the relevancy of the local anesthesia? Because she claimed um, that she put local anesthetic in her mouth t- um, to try and make it so that um, she had an excuse to get out of the call, uh, which doesn't really hold up well because right after that call, she was doing that was when she was doing the ooh, woo, nya, nya stuff um, and being all flirty with him or what seemed like it was being flirty with him. And... Before and after that, there were multiple, several hour long calls that she um, started with him, that she engaged out of nowhere, started those multiple hour calls with him, both before and after that incident. It was a good way to get out of it. No, it worked. I mean, she did it. Ask Prime. Will Prime deny that that happened? What? Let's say that that was the case. Why would she just wait, wait, wait. fake? Ask why, Prime. Wait, we can confirm that's the why, case right now. Why, why wouldn't she literally just fake taking the drug? Because what? I guess she didn't want to lie. I mean, she did it though. Like, I mean, you could say that she did it in a silly way, but she obviously she was doing that to get out of the situation. I'm just no. Hold on. You're presenting this as like she was like snarfing drugs. I didn't say she snarfed drugs. Way. I said she took. I didn't say it was the only way for her to get out. I look, look. I didn't say it was the only way for her to get out, but she did do it. I, I honestly also think it was silly, but she did do it to get out of it. Wait. So I thought I thought like Cat like said that like she was in the call and she wanted to end, and so she like took it. Okay. This is Hans talking now. I think, and Hans has since um, retracted his condemnation of Prime as well. Um, so yeah. Novocaine is what is shot in your jaw by dentists that affects speech. I really doubt that she was injecting Novocaine into her skull or into her into her jaw. Guarantee she was putting oral gel in her mouth. Dude, I've been I've chronically bit my lip like badly since I was six years old, okay? Oral gel has pro- I've probably used more oral gel than anyone in the fucking world at this point because of how often I bite my lip and my tongue in my sleep, especially because my job is to talk. I have to use it whenever I do that. I have to use shit tons of it when I do that. Um, I, I, I fucking, I've used all, I've used lidocaine. I've used, um, um, uh, uh, I've used oral gel. I've used all sorts of kind of shit and, she is not injecting herself with local anesthetic to ha- find an excuse to get out of the four-hour call that she initiated, that she continued to initiate, like, weeks later, um, and, and even time before that. Especially even though after that call she was doing the ooh-woo-ooh-woo shit. Yeah, she w- you can't—you you can't—you cannot put a needle in your mouth to inject, like, shit. It's not what happens. Dude, I got my wisdom teeth removed right after I started doing, like, progressive content. You guys know that, right? I literally got my wisdom teeth removed a couple years ago. They gave me a bottle of Vicodin and some Aura Gel and sent me on my way, and that was that. You take a fucking Vi- a couple pills of Vicodin a day, and you put some, you rub some Aura Gel on your fucking gums. I got all four wisdom teeth out, all four of them, and you know what? I streamed the next day. I f- you don't drink Aura Gel? You rub it on your gums or your lips or whatever. Like, I streamed the next day, and I I like yeah yeah. I'm just- and then she's like her lips like were too numb like to even like speak and that's why she like did it so she like had an excuse like to go and like destiny i destiny like i don't have like this like i don't have the magic bullet like uh like discord's like screenshot for you but like i haven't seen it wolfie i i, I you know, like i'd say i'm sorry no it's okay i'd say i was like, like I, i'm listening to two people she's romantically involved with kind of defending against like, another part of it she was accused I, of being I, romantically involved so this is a very funny like situation I, 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 like, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying to like help i'm not like okay so no i, I don't think it's, it's, it's a complex like, situation nobody said it was never complex no, no, situation. Hold on. i want to be very clear i don't think dylan i don't think you or hans are bad people by the way i think that you're making a big mistake with prime i don't think you're making any type of mistake though well of course you don't think so but um i think you're making a mistake the biggest mistake still is plain league though 100 no no i am i know that i'm right about all of this if it comes down to i don't know that you're right 100 if i'm 100 i'm not put together like a big old manifesto soon if i need to like torpedoes people um and if like indeed like if you are right then yeah like i'll apologize like i believe like my friend like i wasn't active in like producing he did. his manifesto like i just i see someone who like says like they have this hans realized he was wrong and he apologized he read the apology earlier on in the segment have we seen enough now i've literally been recording for three hours and 17 minutes i feel like i'm i'm committing i feel like i'm committing a crime on my editor right now how much more do we need to watch i feel like i'm committing an actual crime on my editor right now making them edit this three hour and 17 minute recording all right have we seen enough i feel like we've seen enough lonnie are you good have we seen enough? Watch this clip before ending. This better be relevant. If this isn't relevant, you will for universe. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad for you if this isn't relevant. Maybe, yeah. Right? Because no, she does, because she's not, inter- she's not interested. Which is, wait, wait, wait. She's not interested, which is clear here. But she also doesn't want to lose that the either the payment. She doesn't want to lose the position yeah. on the panel. She doesn't want to lose any of that. Go. There it's the incentives. Go. What do you so- mean? She's man, she's being manipulative, being Dylan. Man- Dylan, 
This is textbook woman manipulation. I'm sorry, my dude. Woman manipulation. But that is exactly what you just read. No, it is. Whatever, man. We're never going to come to terms on this. There is a hint of misogyny there, but it's kind of true. It's a little bit true. Like, I've met, I, I know of and have met women that, that do that kind of shit. Like, yeah, I mean, to a certain, like, I don't know if that's the case here, but it is possible, I guess. Like, kind of, you know, like, sometimes women can do that kind of thing, but I guess ma men can too. But usually you don't have situations where, like, you usually don't have situations where, like, a woman is really interested in a man and the man doesn't really, like, reciprocate but uses that woman for... That's usually not how it works, right? Um, because, I mean, this is true, but women are kind of the gatekeepers of sexual stuff most of the time, right? Because dudes are super horny and, and women are a little bit more selective with who they engage with most of the time. Like, yeah... It this comes off as like very very cringy the way he he worded it, but I think there is like a there, there's a hint of truth there absolutely. Um, there's a hint there's a hint to that like it's possible that she was doing that I suppose, but the way the way, classic woman manipulation. Oh God, Destiny, why would you say that? Uh, he could have just left it at she's manipulating him or manipulating you or manipulating someone. She, he didn't have to say this is classic woman manipulation. <laughs> Comes off as so incel -y, dude. We need you on scuff for tonight, dude. I wish, dude. I fucking wish. Trainwrecks is one of my favorite streamers. I love him. Yeah, this is more of an interpersonal issue thing. I don't think it's like a women being manipulative type thing. Okay. okay. If you want to show those kids, go stream. That like, but I will tell like young men in the future. This is what it looks like when a girl is fucking with your head and throwing you a. That. God, he could have word worded that so much better. But yeah, I mean, my dudes out there, my my guys out there, unironically, if a girl isn't, if you're if you're putting in. If you if you think a girl likes you, hold on. I'm I'm gonna be very fucking upfront with you here. If you think a girl likes you and you're putting in fifty percent and they're putting in ten percent, just get out of there, dude. Just get out of there. Don't don't go through with it, okay? Like clearly the girl's not interested in you. If you're put if you're going so far as to put in like if let's say like it's two ends of a rope and you're putting in fifty percent and that other person needs to put in fifty percent to get that like to get you together, you're putting in 50% and she's putting in 10%, like, of that flirtation, you gotta do 50-50. It's gotta be 50-50 mutual, like, response. Like, if you if you get the flirtation up to another level and she do, she isn't bringing it up to another level at all at any point and it's, she's leaving it entirely on you to bring that shit up to the next level, it's very possible she's not interested in you. Like, I know not every girl is the same, and some women are really shy, and maybe they just want the dude to do all the moves for you. But even at that point, that's going to make your relationship really fucking stupid and complicated, even if you do end up dating. Like, don't don't date people who aren't willing to put in as, mu as much as you are. You know what I mean? But she's living with her employer who said he would literally kick her out uh, and dump her if he found out she had lied about any of this. That is much scarier power imbalance. Yeah, it's true. Like, this is such a fucked situation. I don't know. That's fine, but the dude is giving 70 and is called a harasser. He was not giving 70. Um, I'd say, like, I'd say Prime was giving 50 and she was giving, like, 15. Maybe Prime was giving 60 and she was giving, like, 15. He, he definitely should have realized, like, at least if I was in his place, I would have realized, like... If I was in his place, I wouldn't have gone after... I wouldn't have been romantically interested in her. Um, because, I mean, I, I don't want to date somebody that's got the same issues as she has. Um, like, when it comes to sleeping and, and chronic, like always having to work and, and being very busy and long distance and all of that. Um, but, like... I probably would have picked up pretty quick that... She wasn't interested, but not everybody is that good at that. You know what I mean? Not everybody is capable of, like, seeing through um, that kind of thing if it's not very upfront. But, yeah. I, I don't know. My my final... I'm going to go ahead and do a, a, a little 
final bit for the segment here. Hopefully, when this goes up on YouTube, uh, uh, me not putting my take at the very beginning will make it so the people who already disagree with me don't just dislike the video, unsubscribe, and leave before hearing my reasoning, as they usually do with stuff like this, a la the Afghanistan segment. Um, but... Uh, you guys remember that? That's the mistake I made with the Afghanistan segment. I started the Afghanistan segment by saying that I think it would be bad if we if we um, just dipped out of there without um, doing it the right way and lost like 2,000 subs in a day and uh, got a shit ton of dislikes and like every comment on there besides the newest ones from the last few days are hate comments because I started the video with my take then explained why I believe it. Um, but this time, with this situation, I... Save my take for the very end. And my take is that Prime is not a predator. This should have never been public. And uh, after this stream, I'm going to message Prime and be like, damn, really sorry about what's going on right now. And uh, I'm going to be friends with Prime because I feel bad for him. He got fucked over. <clears throat> Just put the textbook woman manip manipulation clip in the preview. Let's not. Let's not piss off the people who haven't heard my reasoning right at the beginning. Let's not. But that's true, lol, so you got fucked for saying the truth. Well, Sergeant Moto, the thing you have to understand is the online left is very, very... Um, and they're going to do this with this drama, too. The online left can, at, at many times, be extremely um, dogmatic uh, and, and lacking of any uh, type of nuance. You know, I think Sean has a good example of this and how she's been acting about the Afghanistan thing. Um, like, like full-on callous about, like, what's happening to the Afghan people now that the Taliban have taken over. Um, but back when I made that take... Um, you weren't allowed to be a lefty and say that, um, you know, that like, and be not a hundred per billion percent against, um, the, uh, the, um, our, our occupation of Afghanistan. Like you weren't allowed to be a, um, uh, you weren't allowed to have that take. Like it's against the left, like online left dogma. And I went against it. I got canceled. Then I got proven right. And a lot of people were like, well, Xander Hall was right, but I still, have yet to recover from that drama. So I just don't want to repeat shit like that. I'm never, if I have like a really hot take that I know is going to piss off a lot of people on the left, I'm going to start, um, I'm going to just start like saving my take for the very end. I'm going to make sure Cherry doesn't include my take in the, um, in the start, in like the beginning bit, like the little hook at the beginning of all my videos. Cause I know that'll just fucking, you know, bro, Ben up and not as Afghanistan takes though. We'll get in that in a minute. Okay. Anyway. That's my take on all of this. It should never have been public, and uh, Prime got fucked over. Um, I don't think that Cat is, like, this manipulative piece of shit who's, like, trying to ruin um, Prime's career. Um, I don't think any of them are particularly in the wrong, but uh, it, Prime certainly doesn't deserve ha to have his career ruined. Like, that, that's not... I, re I really don't think he deserved to ha deserves to have his um, uh, career ruined, you know? Yeah, that's, that's more or less all I have to say. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon uh, if you haven't already so YouTube actually tells you when I go live, upload a video, or do anything like that. Um, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and all of my other... Um, uh, uh, all my other... Uh, uh, social media down the link in the description. And of course, if you want to support me financially and help me raise money for a VR setup so that I can stream some VR games for you guys, which I think would be really fun, really, really want to stream Walking Dead Saints and, Sinner Saints and Sinners. Uh, you can donate, subscribe, gift subs, and um, uh, support me financially on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, on YouTube by hitting the join button, become a channel member, or uh, super chatting and on Twitch by uh, subbing, gifting subs, or Prime subbing for free with Amazon Prime. And then, of course, you can always donate to me straight through Streamlabs or sub to me on Patreon. It's up to you. And uh, thank you so much for your support and have a good one.